Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to CEO Taku 2023. I'm Leishmao. I'm here with Kateo. And we're here to give you comms for Super Naruto Clash of Ninja 4. It's about to be a sick time. I cannot wait to get this started. Kateo, how are you feeling? I know you see the bracket. I know you see this top eight that we had. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this right now? I mean, all I can think about is how many crazy matches we've had today. Like, so many close calls. There's so many different people getting almost knocked into losers. And yet, we still have what I think was, like, kind of an expected top eight in the very end. Yeah, ultimately, right? Like, we know these players, our top eight is very stacked. The first match we even got coming up, right, is Ice Kid versus Skeet. Like, yeah. that's hard. That's a big one. Yeah, like, it's nuts. Like That's not an uncommon what? Winner semis, winner finals in most of our brackets at home. So Yeah, honestly. So... We're looking forward to having a good time. It's going to be sick. I can't wait to hop into this first match. I'm not going to lie. I'm still mad I made top eight. I was one match away. I was one you match away. You and Cyber and Lily. But all, all three of you. Shout out Cyber. Shout out Lily. Shout out me. Lily. People be talking about the TOs don't put in pain. Come on. We ain't got knife. Fool me. Same thing for our, our uh, team. Fool me. So if any of you guys are not familiar with this game, maybe you've seen Clash of Ninja back in the day. You've seen it now. Things looking a bit different. This is a community patch that our team... Hold on, Lee. Let's, go, let's, let's show some love for our EU players. Where's Hama? That's Cyber on the, on the camera with where is Hama on his phone. Where's, where's Hama? <laughs> where's Hama? Shout out Hama. Shout out Hama Arati, man. Wish you really could have made it out here. It would have been sick. But see, we got our two contestants up here right now. We got Ice Kid on the right and Skeet on the left. In person, is different, but obviously what you guys are staring at is what I'm saying. But yes, I'm going to be extremely biased right now. As I tell you, every time these come around, Skeet's from New York, your boy's from New York, I got a root for him. So let's get right into this match. We got Skeet on the uh, on the guy, and we got Ice Kid on the Conqueror. Yep, no, no, this is the exact same matchup we actually saw last year, I believe, also in Winter Semis. Yeah, I believe so. And for what it's worth, right, we got Ice Kid, our returning champion for CEO Taku 2022. So. Looking to see if he's going to be able to reclaim that crown, or are we going to be uh, getting a new champion this year? Yeah, he's, he's, he's had a lot of really close calls today, and yet here he is, and he's in winter semis here. Oh, hell yeah. I definitely saw a bunch of his matches. They were super close. Oh, man, this has been such a sick time. But yeah, people just can't get around the uh, Conqueror. It's such a tough character to deal with. All right, into this. Okay, we're pretty even. Hold on. Skeet on an inch of life. Oh, he oh, that's finds it. it. That's nice. Good stuff. First game of this top eight, or first round of this top eight going to ski. Mm -hmm. All right, right back into it. Also, starting on Tenchi Bridge, not a place we typically see people go for starters, but. I, know. I would say that this is probably the least picked round one. Actually, no, 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 Uchiha Haido. Uchiha Haido. Yeah, It's probably yeah. the least picked game one starter stage. Yeah, for sure. Those two, like, it's typically, you know, we always go uh, Final Valley or Three Way Deadlock. Yep. Typically, so. Interesting to see this choice come out. Oh, that dropped? Yeah, unfortunate. I didn't think that was going to happen. I have no clue. Oh, Crow kind of just whipped out of nowhere. What was that about? Good side step from Skeet, putting on the pressure. Oh, gets caught out. That's it. OK, evening it up. One kunai apiece. Looking good so far. Yeah, pretty close. Honestly, by the way, that these, both of these characters go pretty close in here. here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Skeet on the offensive. Let's see if he can get that guard break. Oh, gets the 2x off, though. That's 2x, right? That is 2x. Okay, yeah. I just had to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ice Kid with the light, life lead at the moment, looking pretty good. But Ice Kid fighting back. Holding this, pressure keep going. Gets hit by that smoke bomb. All right. You always got to be aware of it. As soon as it makes contact, it will stay out for a bit. Can you drop that? I think he. Yeah, that was weird. That. Oh! <laughs> that JA got to be so careful because even when Gunk, or even when uh, Crow's out of there, he can pop right back in from wherever. And now you got to watch his best friend at all times. Crow holds it down for uh, Conqueror so much. Can you just pull Crow in with a 4A when, when the guy was right in front of his face? Yes, I believe that so. That is a crazy option. I'm really wondering what's going on inside. Right, bold move, but let's see what he's getting into here. 4B coming out, nice. Oh, good patience from Skeet. Ooh, just going straight through the crow. Two apiece. Facts. I like the Y cancels on the 5A as well. Just keep it safe. Didn't want to have too much lag in case Ice Kid did get the meter to sub, but don't even got to worry about that. Just get right into round five. Okay. Trying to find that first opening. See, and that's such a big thing in this matchup for a guy. I mean, granted, it's for like a lot of characters, but if you if your character can keep Crow juggled, it helps a lot. You're hitting Crow, you're taking a Chakra away from Conqueror. So it definitely pays dividends in this kind of matchup. Yeah, character okay. with uh, damage and juggles like guy. 
yeah. hitting both of them at the same time. It's rough. But that first game is going to Ice Kid. That's a fact. Let's see where Ski's gonna counter pick. To Yo, you we were, just, we, we were just we were just talking, talking about this. this at the bi-weekly on Sunday. <laughs> Ski yeah. loves this stage as a counter pick. I don't think I've seen him uh, counter pick to any uh, anywhere else for that matter. Yeah, for reference, there's two different stages that are this size and shape, six six by six, mm -hmm. uh, in an octagon pattern that is uh, oh, Konoha wait, Shine. What he still got clipped? Nah, that's insanity. Oh, uh, you're dead. No, oh, not yet. Oh. Almost though. 4B holds it down. Clean. Nah, just to finish that thought, it's Konoha Shrine and it is Konoha Police Station. The majority of players opt to go for Konoha Police Station, whether it be for the music or the visuals or whatever. Ski always goes here. He's one of the only people to do it. It's for the size, for sure, like you were saying. Like this small stage guy loves to have you in an enclosed space so we can just keep the pressure on. Also, his 4B, if you charge it, you can break guard. And in this game, if you uh, if your guard gets broken, you lose meter. So that just leaves you open for a full combo, which can be. You know, I mean, this on this game, stage, that goes what? Half this across half the stage at that point? Pretty much, yeah. Like, yo, we call guy Mr. Fantastic for a reason, bro. The <laughs> limbs be going crazy. Nice. I like the Y cancel on the gate, too, so he's keeping himself safe. That was sick. He Y canceled his gate? Yeah, dude. That's not something you ever see. Yeah, nah, it's not something. Because, I mean, that immediately spins it, makes it a three meter soup or three mm -hmm. bar soup. But I like it to keep yourself safe, especially against this character, because, yeah. you know, once uh, Conqueror gets the ball rolling, it can be very tough to get him to stop. Good job getting out of that pressure. Doesn't nice. hit in the back from the crow. Good stuff. Okay, Ice get up two right now. Looking pretty good. Yeah, this could be uh, this could be the end of the set right here if Skeet's not careful. I was about to say yeah, potentially yeah. Skeet's got to get it together. Lord, I'm forgetting this is still first to two territory. We're not in yeah. first to three yet. And that's what's so heartbreaking about this because all of these people like we're saying. Oh, no. That's it. That is it. Unfortunate movement there, getting hit in the back by that 2x. Yeah, and that's going to be Ice Kid moving on. Skeet's going to drop out now. Unfortunate, my New York bias is gone early, but it's cool. I mean, no, no, he's in losers. Oh, wait, that was winners. That was winners. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Talk to them. We still in this. Yo, stop playing with New York. We stop playing with the towns, man. We still in this. <laughs> Come on, Skeet. All right, who we got coming up next? What's next, we got Lemo versus Ricky Ant. Okay. This is yeah. gonna be yeah. uh this is gonna yeah. be a nail biter. One of them ones, for me. I'm gonna tell you this right now, for me. This is gonna this, be nuts. this top eight is all killer. Mm -hmm. It's like it's killer, 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 killer. Exactly. All four matches are like so later bracket potential in any other given tournament. So for those who aren't familiar, right, people that aren't like uh, on viewers or a part of our community, Lemo is definitely a really good player. Uh, had a undefeated record in tournaments until about like two weeks ago or yeah, three weeks ago. Actually, like, wouldn't yeah, have been. they were just going with a run. Like Lemo in tournament, it's very very hard to stop them. Lemo's also our 2022 combo breaker champion. They didn't come out this year, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So this is gonna be a good one. And Ricky, just a player. He's also one of our players from the DR. So always love seeing the, uh, people come out, fly out for these big events. Ricky's consistency is very much so up there. What did he really get? Good Let's player. see. Combo breaker, what did he get? Third last year? Third he last third year. Last and then year. First, first this year. First this year. Mm -hmm. He got second at Siotaku last year, and he's here in our winner's side. Actually, I think Ricky might have gotten fourth. Because I remember last Can Last year? Yeah, combo breaker last year. Because remember, oh, Kendall got third. Sorry, combo breaker. I thought you were talking about yeah, Siotaku. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. about to say, no. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> got, yeah. So fourth at combo breaker last year, second at Siotaku last year, and then one combo breaker this year. So Ricky looking to grab another one, put it under the belt. It's definitely possible that they're he's fighting against I think, Lemo. I think we're so. into it, but I don't think the crowd can see right now. There we go. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> so we're going with the Tamari and Itachi. Uh, Actually, we keep going with Itachi. No, this is a good pick. I okay, like this. As opposed to his usual Kimimaro pick, I like this a lot. I was just talking about this um, Bro, yesterday. he just did this to me yesterday. Yeah, he just did this to you <laughs> yesterday. Because you were up a game on him last night. Uh, so. Um, we were talking last night. Basically, Itachi versus Tamari. Tamari is a character that loves to stay in the air. Itachi has a lot of moves that come down from the air. His JA is a clone that comes down from the air. His A day is a clone that comes down from the air. He has ways to shut down characters who are in the air a lot. And Tamari is in the air a lot. That's just two-way. Oh, not even two-way? Right. No. I mean, yeah, that works out too, but you know, two-way just a lot more room for error, but Lemo's cracked, so Lemo doesn't need room for error. Lemma doesn't go, like, watching sets earlier by Lemma, Lemma doesn't go for a lot of options you would think are just like the instant, like, you should oh, go yeah. for this option to make sure it's closed out. They'll go for a lot of other different options. Makes sense. All right. Seeing this Ricky trying to fight back right now, see how well this Itachi works out for him. 
I get the feeling that we might see actually a lot of respect from Ricky towards Lemo potentially not going for certain situations that they would normally want to set up for other players. They have a immense amount of respect for Lemo. That's what I mean, yo, uh, rightfully so, because as we were just saying, right, all the accolades we just gave Lemo, like, this is definitely a, a player that you should respect. Because pretty much, oh, nice. Good five X. Uh, but yeah, that's death, yep. but yeah, I think you can agree with me for sure, right? Anybody in this top eight, they're one of the players who are like, yo, you give them an inch, they will take a mile, maybe even two. Yeah, like, I mean, like you were just saying with Lemma's record being undefeated as of very recently, that was Malik who took them out in winners. Yeah, that is, Malik. I legitimately say that within the last few years, that's one of the biggest upsets in the I would agree with you, to be honest. And Malix is going to be here in this top eight as well, so maybe we'll get to see a rematch. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd really love to see it. Yeah, I would too. That'd be super, super sick. All right. Lemo up two kunai right now. Ricky not really seeming to have an answer. It's all been very Lemo favored for this match so far. Ricky hasn't really caught, like, his groove just yet, so. Lemo is definitely one of those players that I think that they are always playing on a, a different layer than everybody else, honestly. Mm -hmm. we talk, I talk nice. about how, how potentially bad this matchup would be for Tamari, but here Lemo is with this super. Wow. And that's game one for Lemon. Beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Also, I just remember while they're picking. Oh, they, matter of fact, don't even, don't even worry about what I'm talking about. I thought <laughs> we'd have a second real quick. Actually, no, I'll make this quick. So for anyone that isn't aware, right, this game is a community patch. There's a bunch of changes, character balance changes, added costumes, stages, everything. Even a training mode or a recording feature. There was already a training mode, but no recording feature. But yeah, our community works really hard on this patch, so shout out to all our people that work on it. Shout out Lily, shout out Kite. De uh, yep, we got Kite. some of them in the audience, so you can see them from right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shout out Potato. For me. Everyone that helps work on this game, we really appreciate it. And it makes it that we can have sick moments like this. Oh no, oh, no see? And that's why I always be like, yo, the sliding A <laughs> might be the move sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, like that. It's hard to call, but yeah. You know, I've seen Lemma go for JB, JB after the four. <laughs> like just, just, just keeping it simple. That's great. If you just need that to kill, That's if true. you're not gonna get as much meter out of a, a five A, mm -hmm. that makes sense. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, basically you're forced to be grounded, and you can get an OTG move, which Tamari has several of. Um, if you're not going to end up killing, there's a specific option that's good for regaining basically all of your meter back directly after that super, as opposed to some that are better for just closing up the room. Okay, good throw. All right, no meter for Lemo, so it's gonna be big damage for Ricky. Yeah, Ricky with a really big life lead here, tied in the meter though. Might, I think this might be his first lead of the set, to be honest. Like, I mean, no, Lemo, Lemo's not, I was about to say, technically not even leading because yeah, no. Lemo does have a kunai. Okay. Let's go out the direction. Really, it's a it's a stray hit that'll do it, I think. That's what they're looking for. They're because all a, a stray hit on Lemo is going to mean that Lemo's probably going to end up subbing. Yep, right uh, there. Yep. And, yo, you, as, you literally yep. called it. Like, <laughs> happened instantly. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, just being honest, I think Lemo is the type to do those types of subs and still kill off of it. Like, yeah, I, I, think, I, I think if there's anybody that if I see them doing a uh, hero burst and it working, that's going to be Lemo. <laughs> okay. Right back into it. Ricky putting on the pressure. Nice. Yeah, there's that back turn unblockable. Itachi is really, really scary because he can set up these back turn unblockables because of the positioning of the clone depending on where him and his opponent are facing. Exactly. Things get real tricky. I'll say someone like Lemo definitely won't get caught up by it too much, but it happens to all of us at the end of the day, right? Yep. Like happens some moments. Exactly. Some moments are kind of just unavoidable. Oh, this is big. This is really big. That's gonna be the 5A. Bop, uh -huh. bop, and look at bop. all that meter. Oh, I didn't even get the whole thing, but as you can see, you get a lot of meter for doing that, and that's one of my favorite parts of Tamari. Tamari is super, super sick. Yeah, I mean, with that much meter gain, honestly, like, if Lemo had done that from full meter, that would have been probably enough to do another one right away, because that is a super that only uses three bars of chakra. That's a fact. We love to see it. Nice. Okay. Ricky grabbing the first hit of this round. Also the first sub of this round, apparently. It feels like every time Ricky goes for JA, he's just, like, a tad too late. And like Tamari's out of the way by then. Uh huh. Look Lemo's, at that meter. Look at that meter. Look, look at, at that, that meter. meter. Almost a full bar. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's the crazy thing that so many of these top tiers in this game got. See, Using that to their advantage for Lemo to take game two. That is and the set. Yeah, that's the set, right? Lemo 2 0. See, that's how you know we different, right? Because you see when Ricky whiffed that grab, I would have just JX, but Lemo, <laughs> <laughs> Lemo went into it a whole nother way. I would have JX for free. Like nah. That's what I'm saying. When I say I think Lemo's playing on a different layer a lot of times, I'm thinking like, just so many different options, like I was saying. Lemo will go for a different option than you will expect. Mm -hmm. And like, when it, I mean, talk about fighting games in general. 
that's how you want to stay, right? You always yeah. want to, you always need your opponent to stay on their toes and expect any given option from you. Exactly. Because and if you play in a different way, that's still good. It's different from what everybody else is doing. That's unpredictable. You I was about to say that's to the main thing right there, right? Being too predictable in any game will get you killed. When we like, but it's, I think especially this game mm -hmm. because yeah. of the, because it's just the way sub mechanics work. Exactly. If you haven't noticed already, right, this is like typically a two touch game, but it can be one touch depending on characters, depending on health, like. There's different health values and things of that nature, so it's a lot going on in this game, but that's why we love it, right? It makes yeah. it sick. It's a great time. And who doesn't love Naruto? Like, who doesn't love Naruto? Exactly. All right, so who we got? I think we're jumping into loser side now, right? We got, yeah, we're jumping into loser. We got Paradise versus Malice. Actually, I'm sorry. I said loser. We're jumping in, going straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> we was hanging out in heaven for a bit, but now we in hell. Paradise, oh my god. Okay, so, <laughs> 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 so these two. They have a very long-standing history. Some might even call it a beef a little bit. I don't. It's I think not it's a competitive. Beef. It's yeah, competitive. it's a competitive beef. Both of these guys, you know, like if one loses to the other, like yo, oh, you're in trash. <laughs> da, 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 da. Think, and let me just say, I'm keeping it a uh, relatively PG. There's definitely a lot of other things that are said, <laughs> but a lot of noob. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of lot of noob. A lot of lot of dog. Some some you know, but something or another. But regardless. Interested to see who's going, what the character picks are going to be here. Because, right, Malik. We got uh, Jiraiya versus Tsunade. We got a Sunning match. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. And hopefully we start on three-way deadlock so we can see the. I actually hope it did. <laughs> yo, we can see, uh, what's the, what is it, the slug and the frog? What yep. the toad? I should toad. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Bukak. Toad. <laughs> also, shout out to all the homies watching at home. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you, guys. It's going to be super, super lit. We're going to be with y'all for a little bit, so. If you don't already, go grab a snack, get some water, stay hydrated, and we're getting right into it. Yeah. All right. So Paradise on the... Oh, what? That, okay. <laughs> already okay. just knocking Mal out of the air with that 8B. <laughs> good side stuff. So yeah, Paradise on the Jiraiya, Malix on the Tsunade. This should be a really good one. Nice. Oh, didn't punish me. Didn't get the punish. I'm surprised. Nice. Never swamp, but Malix JAs it. I'll say the JA is definitely a really good tool for punishing Swamp. For, oh, and there goes Confusion. So, to anyone that doesn't know, you see those question marks over the head. Jiraiya's buttons are swapped right now. On the first charge, it swaps movement buttons. On the second charge, it swaps attacking buttons. So, A turns to B, B turns to A, Y turns to X, X turns to Y, so on and so forth. So, you can definitely get yourself in a situation. But, sometimes, it works out, and you press a button you ain't mean to press, and it works. So, Tsunade is a funny little mini game character. She has all these tiny games. Are yeah. you ready for this? Are you ready for this? How can you deal with this? Do you know how to deal with this? It's yeah. kind of, I don't know if it's, it feels kind of out of character. I think she's a really interesting design character. That's a fact. I like it a lot, honestly. Tsunade is super cool. Okay. All right. What's the pressure? Guard looking low. Almost taking out that guard. It should still be safe. Looking for a puddle, but nobody home. Oh, for, oh those who, for those who don't know at home, you can see guard whenever an opponent is hit. It'll be either blue or yellow or red, depending on the amount of guard that they have at the moment. If you look next to the timer, those little those little blips. Yeah, the little bubbles the timer, that are surrounding all around the timer, those are representing guards. So keep up. Oh, nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, even with the swap buttons, Paradise making it work. Yeah, no, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> when it comes to those reverse buttons. 1,000%. Trying to bait the sub, but Paradise not going. Nice. Oh, nice uh, JB. That's a, a that's a mini game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that JB that is a is a shenanigan. That oh move you can uh you can you can I'm tripping over my words here. Oh, you good. can Take change the direction you will move in in the air. Your aerial drift. That's what I'm looking for. You oh, can yeah. choose the direction that you drift in with that. Uh, oh, nice. That's not big move. Good yeah, stuff. Grab. Solid damage. But now it's going with the wake up kick. Gonna get that pressure off. Stepping right out. Not a bad option with the amount of health you got. It's, 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 damn, it's damn near poetic that these two would be the first match of losers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Nice. I like Malix holding it, faking out uh, Paradise, making him like think twice if, actually, if he's actually gonna let it fly or not. Honestly, it's really just an interesting move in terms of just like raw frame data. With the amount of. Just hit someone that has the amount of recovery that it has. It's kind of a, Ooh. it's not a knockdown. It's a combo ender, but it is not a knockdown in any Nice. And Malix takes game one. Okay. Ooh, fist in the air, Malix. Yeah, <laughs> nah, yo, yo. It's, yo, this is, a, this is not Mal a game. If Malix win this, wins this, we will 
be seeing. <laughs> We're not gonna hear the end of it. We're not gonna hear the end of it. We're not gonna hear the end of it, I'll tell you that. I gotta join the first voice chat that they are both in oh. after talking with Malik's like this. <laughs> One thousand percent. Oh, but look, this is Malik's on a big damage right here. Re-ups on the uh on the confusion. Oh nice. There's a hit grab. Very funny, tricky move by Jiraiya. It's it's very it's it's technically a hit grab, right? Technically. Technically, we talked about grab. this. It's a funny move. That's what yeah. it is. But that's a 5x from Paradise. That's going to close out the run. One of the higher damage supers of the game. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to, like, I really want y'all to see how much that does for real, like, in a real Jiraiya combo. And I'm pretty sure we'll get the chance to see that during this. So. Super possible. Mm -hmm. hey, you know, I never thought about it, too. Both of them do have trapping moves on 2A. Oh, do you have trapping moves on 2A? Great. You could, you could uh, shake Tsunade's, but you can't shake the puddle. I mean, like, it is what it is. You gotta hold that. I think these two are very similar in the fact that they have kind of just funny moves. Honestly, you got moves like Jizo, you got moves like a stick grab, you got moves like Swamp. Oh, we just uh, talked about Sonata's moves. Oh, the wall kind of... Yeah, that's a rough one. That's another JV. Okay, nice. That drift. But no, Orochimaru is the only one of the Sonnen that doesn't have like... Trap and move. I was thinking about just that like, in my head. Even just like kind of a crazy move set in the first place. I mean, the craziest thing about him, right, is the super. He has to lock away the opponent's chakra for like, what, 10, 15 seconds, something, something like that? Something like that, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. I wonder why Max didn't follow through with that. Oh, oh what? 5x. Oh, what was that? Could that have been a miss and put a 2x, perhaps? Maybe. Both. I mean, um, hey. 2x, not a bad opportunity. That, that actually <laughs> You saw him step, right? Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> oh, Jizo holding it the full Big Jizo. Big Jizo. Really wanted him to sub, that's for sure. Oh! Nice! Five X, that sh I think that's death. Yes, definitely death. And Malix is on set point right now. Ooh. Might take it. Oh. Paradise, Paradise got to kick it in gear right Paradise now. Paradise getting out of seventh would be a story. And then I'm going to be tight because he took me out for ninth. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, hell no. Yo, bro, you better not lose to this man, son. <laughs> Four B? No, running B. Mm -hmm. He slowed it down. Yeah, that would have been sick if he actually did catch it. Wow, interrupted her in the JP. In the air. <laughs> Good step. What? what? The, no. the backwards step. Lily! <laughs> Lily! <laughs> Shout out to Lily, man. I swear I just saw her get up from the audience for a second. That would have been oh. nuts. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, oh, no, that's a punish. I, I think I think this might be Malix's game to lose. It looked like it. Hold on. That meter gain crisis right now. Don't get caught by that swamp. Oh, good, good break. Good break. Ooh. Ooh. Push this around five. Talk about it. Yes, sir. Paradise is not out. He could, <laughs> I mean, he he's could just as easily surprise us and come back. And exactly. Take this this is already. not, you know, it's no. So he's not someone that, uh, you know, we'd be surprised if he make this comeback right now. Yep. Like we were saying, right, all of these players in this top eight right now, crack, easily. All of them are killers. Every single one of them. Okay. I think, have any of them. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're actually dead. Oh, Whoa, no! This is the other 4B. Good block on the swamp. Well, we just Try saw the same situation a second oh, ago. Oh, what a trade! He, oh, he could have caught that. I think he could have caught that, yeah. Okay, the throw, Five but. X? No, Confusion oh, misses. misses it. This is so tense. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, this is yeah, yeah. Oh, That's they're not, not dead. dead. Oh, it goes yeah, for the go heal. heal. super. All right, this is that 2X I was talking about for a second ago. Puts you on a random spot on the map. Right, Where's so he going? Watch the health. Watch the health. Health start going up, but let's see what Jirai is able to do. Oh, it don't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You're done. No. He could have. Nice. He could have solved it. I think he, yeah, actually I think could have. He could have I think he just already like resigned to like, all right, I'm losing this round. Yeah, no. Him. With the crisis meter game plus the health regen, he was living for longer than I thought he was going to. Yo, honestly. What is this damn game? <laughs> what is this game we play? <laughs> recently, especially, every it feels like everything recent has just been crazy. It's been Paradise winning. What, Paradise just won the last five online events in a row that we just had, mm -hmm. right? And yet, it feels like crazy stuff happens in almost oh, every bracket. Oh, tried to Jizo that, but no dice. Oh, I like that. That was That's sick. That's a crazy JV because it still got the second hitbox. Mm -hmm. Okay. Swamp. Looking for, the, looking for the sub. I like the patience from Paradise. Good break. Really, get, really getting a lot of mileage out of that swamp right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you always gotta check them. You always gotta make sure they know what they're doing. 
Nice. Jirai is not exactly, I think, I don't think he's the most high-regarded character in this game, but he's definitely one you have to keep your brain on versus. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, out of, like, our better players or not, I think Paradise is really the only one. Okay. That again? What is he? I don't know. Nah, I really don't know. No, nah, I'm going to say it, Malik. You a masher. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? That's a say, like, uh, like, first time, misinput. Fair enough. Why that happened again? I don't know. Got a cool Malice out. is an enigma, if you would. Oh, for sure. All right. Paradise, even it up. Nice. Got the little. Mm. Okay. Throw. Yeah, just A day. Just get that simple damage. Yeah. Respect that. The goal is to make him want to sub. Nice. That's a cool. What's Malice going to come back with? Sick. Waiting for the sub. Yep. Oh, I like like trying to make some of the throw, but Paradise is ready. No puddle. Oh. Yeah, get, uh, get him out of your face. Good step. Paradise trying to chip out with those kunai. Oh, oh. Good staggers. Oh, that's Good a block. Wait, Whoa, what? Why no. no BBX? And that's a round. Why no BBX? That was a BBX time. OD. Now, granted, Jiraiya is one of our characters with a higher health pool. You know, it's a big guy, but uh, I definitely think Mal is going to kill there with BBX. That was a really good delay on that confusion. You could hear the Jizo start, but no. Just going for needles on the back. I confirm damage. Nice. Slam. Mm. Are we pushing? dead? This looking like we pushing Chip damage? Five. Chip damage? Oh, the Guard break. break. But Mal didn't. Oh, nice. Good, game. good decision. All right. <sighs> Round five, game three. Who is advancing Whoa. on? Malik's with the first hit of the round. He's cancels, wants to make him sub. He's getting a pretty good, sizable lead here. Definitely got the lead. I like that Paradise threw off his sub timing a lot, so Malik's couldn't like Another optimize confusion. his punch. Oh no, this is scary. This is so scary. Both players oh, no I think you're That's not oh, the wait. round yet, no. Not yet. What does Paradise do? Hmm. Wake up, Super. Oh, he did it again! And he Malik's did it again! Wins. Oh look, the Let's pop go. up from Malik! Big Z's! Z's, Z's up till we freeze up! Stop playing! Shout out my Haitians, man! <laughs> Stop playing! <laughs> That's the exact same thing that happened. Who was that first? Was that yo, versus Paradise? Yo, the yes, on the 5X? Yes, yes. He so went for it this again! Is, yo, every time this happens, this is funny as hell because Paradise be like, Yo, I'm the only player in this game that gets a clash on like any, any and everything. Like, and it happened. And it again. happened here on the main. St oh, God. Of all places, what an ender that game! Oh my God! Oh, yeah. Wow! Yo, like you said, we gotta be an FBC. <laughs> we gotta be an FBC. <laughs> we gotta be an FBC. <laughs> <laughs> nah, son. Oh my God, that was. Oh, give me a second, man. I need, <laughs> <laughs> I need a breather. That was such a good match. Oh my, yo, I can't even say. It. I can't even say now. I just keep saying, "Oh my god!" Like, yeah. I, <sighs> oh that's god. like. That, <laughs> so that's that's what that's like. Some of the Malik's in the past month in in in, in one lemo. tournament. In one tournament, beat Lemo. Beat Paradise. Beat, beat Ski in that beat tournament. Beat Ski as well. And in this tournament, Malik's just beat Paradise. Malik's is like we were. I don't remember who I was talking about this earlier with. I think it might have been. I think it was. Was it he? I think it was talking to Hebrew. He was saying like Malik's is the player that either you beat him or you, you lose. Him. Yes, I mean. <laughs> I know I that sounds funny, but it's like. I don't know if um I've talked to you about this, but you know we talk about uh the inconsistent trio. Yeah. And that would be Malik's, Malik's, Hebrew, and Clem. Well, because all three of these players, right? And it's not to knock them at all. They are all very capable of beating like our best. But then there'll be times where they might fall very short in bracket, and like it's like the inconsistency there is like, uh, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's competition. And everyone got to go down, but just how the placements happen. So for Malik's, I'm not gonna lie, this is a big step of getting out of that uh, inconsistent trio. Yeah, like, I mean, what I think one of the craziest things to even see from just this, that bracket, and this one is like Malik's has not been playing in as many events recently. And we saw his return with, what was that? That was QB's tournament? Yes, that was And QB's that was the tournament. first time he had played in, I don't know how long, and that's where he uh, beat. It was a grip since he played, I think he played in the Juicy bracket like a week before, yeah, a week yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's been a grip since he played online. But and all right. he's been taking names right away. We're oh. into the next one. This is, I think it's the button track. Oh, wait, no? Is this the button track? Yeah, it's the button uh, track. It's the button yeah, track. it's gotta be a button track. All right, but we got Candle and we got Hebrew Hammer, one of the people that we were just talking about. Yep. All right. 
So Hebrew, I'm very happy that Hebrew's here because Hebrew has wanted to get to the main stage to show people how crazy Eno can be for a while. You know, we know. Cause yeah, like, we know. Yeah, we know because we see Hebrew all the time. But definitely, like, the people at large, he's been wanting to, like, just show what Eno can do. Because typically in a Naruto game, right, just in the Naruto verse, right, Eno is not someone that people are typically super fond of. Yes. Definitely think she's a weaker character. But in this game, in this game. In this game, this character puts in pain. This Boom. character has been a ruler since mm -hmm. I don't since before I even started playing. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm scratching my head at this OTK pick from a candle too. Can you pick OTK? Yeah, Candle is not a typical OTK player. Now, granted, I don't doubt that he can play. I don't doubt exactly. He's one of the players that has like a huge wheelhouse of characters and just their fundamentals in general can hold it down. But you know, I was expecting the Kasame, I was expecting the Haku, maybe even the Zob. You know what I'm saying? But let's see it. All right, so look, we get into Eno shenanigans already. You see her flipping all around the place. Some people say she moves like a Dragon Ball Z character, <laughs> and I wouldn't I mean, say she's that wrong. Yeah, that's a fact. She's teleporting all over the place. Oh, I was. Oh, you're dead. Could slam. Be. Yep. Wow. I love that slam. So it's so much. it's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's great. All right. Candle starting us off hot. Grabbing round one. Good four B. Nice. Bit long guard, but. Oh. Soon it's <laughs> Yo, what is up with these behind the back hits? Yo, Lily. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> She's right there in the audience. Just go, just hop off. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put the headset down. I'm gonna just, yo, Lily, <laughs> <laughs> stop playing with me. <laughs> oh, oh no. Hey, I'm surprised no. Oh, AB there. Just yeah, no, I, I don't know. I think it's a really, I, I think AB is a really scary move to use when you're down. Nice. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. I can agree. And I like that using the kunai get the chip damage out. Let's grab that round real quick, Hebrew. Okay. Yo, the patience. Yes. <laughs> the instant sub into patience. Slam. Okay, Candle got a big lead on the life right now. People are trying to fight back, though. Make things work in his favor. Like the patience, too. Six Age is barely missing. He stopped, like, right in front of her face. Nice, good O2G. Oh, wake up. Another instant sub on that throw. Oh, wow, actually got caught with the JB. All right, Kendall looking to take game one in a second. Let's see how this next round goes. Mm. Starting off with a life lead. Nice. The JB from Hebrew. Oh, good JB from Kendall. Fighting somebody with a simultaneous health and meter lead has got to be probably the scariest thing I think. Yeah, time. I would definitely agree. No matter the character, oh, if, you're, if you're down in both regards. People try to jank him there just now. Oh! Catches the JB out of the air with an 8B. Perfectly placed. Any later, and it either would have clashed or just outright lost. Yeah. Oh, I like that option. But that's going to be game one going to Candle. OTK going crazy right now. Oh, we're seeing a swap? So oh, no, we're oh, not. No, no, we're not. No, we could have. I mean, we could have seen the switch to Anko. We could have seen the switch to Naruto. Yeah, even the Haruza. I mean, even here. Got here. one of those in the back, too. So, yeah, but we're sticking out, trying true. You know, going to my favorite stage. And I know Hebrew's favorite stage. This is your favorite stage, too? Um, this is one of them. It's between this and the uh, police department. Yeah, I love rooftop. It's sick. But I, I think everybody calls oh. this Hebrew stage for sure. And you know what I call this? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Stop playing with him. <laughs> Good Lord. Candle. If you do that again, then it's going to be looking real grim for Hebrew Hammer. He's got to get intact. Let's see. Right. Oh, okay. Gets yeah, just gets behind him. There was a few times last game he, uh, he was trying to do that, and it just wasn't working out. Finally, he's able to find it. 4B? Yep. Good throw. Another 4B? The same position. That's the exact same situation, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he's oh. back again. Yeah. That's such a good option. Yeah, it's you know, compared to a couple of other characters, has a JB that does not actually, it is not a dive kick, it is a kick that is right in front of her. And you can do some funny stuff because it's a backward too, where you just get behind them, you just jump behind them, and you can just hit their back. Oh, you, oh, oh no, but that's a sub. Just enough meter, unfortunate. Oh, but that's a kill. Dash. Oh, not yet. Oh, oh okay, nice. Yep. Ooh, the 4A spam. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, now Heaver on uh, on game point right now. Let's see if we can push this to game three. Yep, got right over Naruto. Oh, this is big damage. You might die. Oh, just shy. Nice. All right, what's the Oki? Nice. Gets called back up in the blender again. Oh, that's dead. They're dead. BBX. Okay, that works. Uh, all right, all right, yeah. yo. I would have screamed at him so much yeah. if that missed. I'm not gonna lie. Cause why not just BBX? For anyone that's not familiar, right? BBX is just literally like press B twice and then X, and pretty much that is a confirm into super for anyone. So if your opponent has doesn't have the chakra necessary to sub it, then you know you're just guaranteed that hit. So it's a really good thing to close out rounds with and just be cognizant of in this game. So yeah, that's I'm like, why didn't he BBX? But I mean, caught it anyway. So I got a random niece question that I have not thought of. So can you do it with lightning blade? BBX? Yeah. Um, you, I, maybe. You what? definitely can't do it all the time in that first. Yeah, know. Rev 3 is a little different. And I need to, you know, I'm going to ask Ninchi about that later. I don't know if you do have a Lightning Blade or Chidori for that matter. Yeah, so. but just about every other character, other character in the game got it. Slam. And and another <laughs> that's perfect another start perfect. in this game. Stop playing belt to ass season, bro. Come on, son. OTK is here <laughs> to beat up anyone in his way. I just chose the uh, switch to the Shippuden skin. All right. Or one of, one of the skins that we have added in with our community patch. Only so, you know, shout out to everyone that helped uh, make these. It looks super cool. I kind of wish you would have used the, uh, what was it? The, the, the four tail. Yeah, the four tail QB uh, skin. That one is super cool. But regardless, let's get into it. Well, depending on how this match goes, we might see it later tonight. Yeah, that's a fact. If Candle can lock this down. Okay. One apiece. Oh, oh, he uh, might die. He might die from this. Yeah. You're dead from this. Yeah. Another, yo, pelt to ass <laughs> season. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Hebrew's got to make a move. That's two perfects. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, that's two perfects. Yeah, yeah nah, nah, nah. We really might see that other skin here in a second. I was literally right before Candle started landing that combo, I was going to say, Hebrew's got the momentum on his side, and then. Ooh. Yeah, immediately <laughs> got taken away from him. Tried to 8B there, but wasn't fast enough. OTK with the claw, just honing in. Oh, you're dead. Mm, no, not oh, quite not yet. yet. I'm a liar. Say, I don't think you could have killed off that in the first place. Okay, good OTG. Oh. I like that sub. Look like he's trying <laughs> to jank him with a JB. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. Just these players at this level, it's going to be so hard to ever try and get something like that off. Through with a pretty decent meter deficit here. And now with a pretty big health deficit, but we're not gonna get three candle perfects. No way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not today. Oh. Hold this on. We were gonna just see this, a is, this is huge. Roll? This is no! Oh, oh no! no! That's gonna be the game. That's dead. Slam! And bam! GG's. Oh, I kinda wish that would have hit. That would have been so sick. And look at the camaraderie. Yeah. Oh man. GG. We all dude. love each other here. That's a fact. When we big smiles, when we can't, can't even be mad at it, man. Everyone's out here giving it their best. And I know it's the most. Really I know awesome. it's the most cliche sounding thing ever, but I really do think that GNT is kind of a family. I, I like. It is. Like, it is. With the size of the group that we have, I mean, we had a barbecue last night. Exactly. We had everybody over at Cypher's place last night. We That's had a, a great fact. time. It was great. We ran a bracket. We had uh, ribs. That uh, it was lit. It was a great time. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, it definitely is. We got a very small knit community, but we're always open to have new people, new blood. Hey, if you like this game, you're interested, come hang out with us. Come tap in, you me? There's never a bad time to join this game and get into all the shenanigans, you me? It's a great, great game. I love it so we're much. We're already out here playing a game that's, what, how old is the game? 2006, Six? I believe, or five? Yeah. We're, so we're like already out here 17, playing 18 a 18 18 years 18 at this year point. Old like, game. Yeah. This game, and we're keeping it fresh. Exactly. This game is super fun. And hey, how could, like I said before, how could you not like Naruto, right? I know some people, but you know, it is what it is. But it's hey. like if you don't, if you specifically don't like Shippuden or something. I mean, this is all part one. Exactly. This is all part one. I mean, you gotta love it. I mean, besides this game, but uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, semantics, semantics. But either way. What is that going to be? Hebrew out at seven. Candle yep. will advance on. Who do we see losing winners? We saw Skeet lose, and we saw. We saw Skeet lose. We and Ricky. And yeah, Skeet and Ricky, right? E Wait, who did Ricky play? Lemo. Lemo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're right. <laughs> so yeah, so Candle will either play Skeet or Ricky, and Malik will either play one of those two either. So that's going to be Skeet. interesting. Malik and Skeet are coming up now. Oh, Malik. Okay, yeah, say that. I'm here for it. This is going to be an interesting one. Like you were just saying before, uh, Mags did take it over Skeet. Actually, no. Mags took it over Skeet at the QB event, but then I'm pretty sure Skeet beat him in the bi-weekly. Yes. So, yeah. It's looking pretty even for these guys. 
Skeet is not a fan of the Haruzen that <laughs> Malix <laughs> likes to pick out. So Malix's characters at this point, we've seen a Tsunade. He usually likes Haruzen, aka Third Okage. We uh, haven't seen a Tsuyu yet. I haven't seen a Tsuyu yet either. And does have a Kasame in the back too. Yep. So these are all interesting I mean, picks. The only, the only time I've seen Malix beat Paradise in any form, honestly, before was a first to five in which Malix switched to Kasame while being down. Oh, yeah. Like, while, while Paradise yeah, yeah, yeah. was up for four X. Mm -hmm. But it worked out. So you know, it's always it's, it's always possible to see. That's a fact. Well, let's get into this match. We got Guy versus Tsunade. Okay. Tua is not gonna Oh good break. Yeah, both of these characters are kinda kinda powerhouses. Oh, for sure. Definitely some send you flying across the screen characters. I was really hoping we were about to see it right there. Just, I, to, just yeah. the camera point. Yeah, <laughs> right. I thought it was coming, but not yet. But I'm sure we'll see it. No worries. Yeah, we definitely will. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now it's not subbing. Good gate. Yeah, that gate reversal. So scary. All right. Let's keep grabbing the first game. And I don't know if you guys can hear them in the back, but the crowd right now is chanting for Skeet. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely looking for him to make it nice. I like that delay. I'm, yeah. not, I'm a little surprised it didn't work, but that's probably the speed of Guy's jab, specifically Guy with tied for the fastest jabs in the game alongside Lee. Not Rock Lee. They're talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fastest jabs. You got the fastest jabs in this room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fastest jabs in this room. Jab like zab. No. But either way. Okay, nice. I like that. Skeet is holding off on going crazy with the string, and Boom, it's, it's paying it out dividends for him. Mm -hmm. Come on, Skeet, do it for the towns, even if it is Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Long Island, this man. Oh, nice, good JB from Malix. Oh, and Ooh, got the confusion. OTG. OTG. <laughs> That's not something you see too often. That's a fact. It's a it's a very tight uh input honestly like because she can do that off of her swordsman throw too it's just you gotta be so quick with it oh. good throw and just the awareness of those delays because mouse is delaying those every single time mm -hmm. you gotta love that right when you're the one applying pressure and then somehow you get grabbed <laughs> like, <laughs> like what if it was my turn right, that's just how the mechanics of this game work it's true two way oh no Crowd uh, yo, crazy for crowd Skeet. screaming for BBX, and I was <laughs> thinking in my head too. Oh, that was like running A, I think, right? I believe it was, yes. Okay, open up the start of the round. Guy, big damage character. This is gonna do some. This is gonna do something crazy. At least half your health has already gone at the start of this round, and the rest of it is leaving right no, now. Oh, not not unless you with it. This is true. I thought it was. Gate, no gate. Just keeps it calm. A little jab pressure. Mm. Wow. Sorry, right, the patience. Yeah, I mean, Skeet has no reason to approach here. Yeah, Skeet can run away. Yeah. And just gate. Yeah, just Whoa. gate. Does enough damage to take out Mouse in this game one. That's a fact. Skeet gonna grab that game. That's what you're And here goes the. So, right, a lot of reasons why Skeet doesn't like this matchup. But a big thing is, right, typically in this game, characters lows, they might bend a knee, things of that nature. Nah, Haruzen drops his whole body to the floor with this low. And Lee and Guy, right? Granted, they have the fastest jab, but their jab is a high. So it just gets crushed by the low, and you just got to hold that sometimes. I feel like I've seen go in her mids before. That move is uh, yeah. really yeah. insane. It's only like him and Kiba who have such a crazy low that they drop down to the ground on like both their hands and body. You know yeah, but if you see that little low kick, he did it just a second ago. That little low kick where he's kind of sliding on the ground, oh. puts his hands Yo, on the we're ground. getting mad, like that one right like there. That one right we're there. We're getting mad back turn hitboxes. What's going on today? Good steps from Skeet. 3D gaming a little bit, but it's fine. Good teleport. This is really the character that's got everything. He's got those high, those those anti-air snipes. He's got those crazy OTGs. He's oh, got the, oh. Step. I was about to say he's got those high damage supers and he didn't land it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they, they, got, they said, Ski! <laughs> they got me crying! <laughs> Yo! I, not, neither player wants to approach here. Mm -hmm. Malx does have the lead. Yeah, nah. Malix has the lead, but Ski is like, yo, I don't care. Oh, the great, simultaneous grab. Great minds think alike, I guess, huh? Not going to get that. 
trying to bait the sub. Actually, no, he even have enough to sub. I don't know why he just one tap then. Yeah. Look, Skeet just inching forward. I mean, Malus doesn't even need to be pressing these buttons like this because that runs. With, that's that has got some risk. Even if he can teleport him with there, that's a fact. he's still running the risk of getting hit just like that. And just like that, Skeet has a no. Skeet does not yet have the legend. Sorry, that's my bad. Yeah, no. Look there it is. There it is. Mm. Oh, nice. Just stuffs him out. I don't know what buttons he was trying to hit there in particular. <laughs> the Kunai. Just missing those shuriken. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but regardless, I respect it. Oh, just out of range of that gate reversal. Okay. Malik's just backing off and just... He's just keeping his uh, distance with these teleports, just backing up ever so slightly. Like, Max is really trying to just uh, camp ski it out, low key. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were, I mean, you literally started this match with talking about how good that 2B is versus this character's jabs, how annoying this character can be versus this character in particular. For sure. So, I mean, if, if one of them wants to camp the other one out, I, mean, I, I don't nice. see why not. That's just, that's just the tough thing with Guy, because even if you camp out Guy, Guy kind of got to just need like, one interaction, yeah. two interactions, two interactions. Like, if he's got the meter for it. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, mm -hmm. this is very fitting, because Skeet also plays Kazuya in Smash, so that's kind of how it is with that <laughs> character. To <laughs> need to get interaction, you'll be all right. Okay. Good break. Oh, good break on that earther. I didn't, I didn't yeah, to anyone playing this game, if you're ever in a combo, just mash, because you never know when that air throw might come. Tries oh. to chip him out. I thought he was just going. Oh! oh! Talk to him! Ski! <laughs> Talk him out! Come on, the big hug! Wait, is that game? That was game. That was two that was, games? That was two, ga that was two oh, games. That was two yeah, because Malice switched. All right, yeah, Malice was using Tsunade first. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 2 over for Skeet. All right, 2 over for Skeet, and Malik's is going to drop out of these. Uh, what is that, 5th for Malik? That is 5th for Malik, yep. 6, 6, 6. All right. <coughs> All right. So that could only mean the next match we are going to see is going to be Candle versus Ricky. Ricky Ant. Mm. Skeet, 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 Skeet. I know I sound crazy, but like, yo, I don't care. <laughs> We're in room for my mans right now. <laughs> that is, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. Skeet is like the guy to cheer for. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it is. He's, Yo, got the, he's got the energy. Good guy, man. People funny man. Champ. I'm a, yeah, the funny guy, am I right? Funny guy. You know, I might call him Dirt, for me, because <laughs> he is Dirt, because why he be losing to me? And he on a, on a top eight stage. That don't make no sense, for me, like, but regardless, for me, that's my man. So I'm going to still big him up when it's time, for me. He do put in pain. He knows what he's doing in this game and other games, for that matter. He does really well in Street Fighter, does well in Smash, for me. Like, Skeet is just a really good fighting game player overall, so I'll give him his flowers, 1,000%. Oh, this is about to be a killer match. Candle versus Ricky. Because I know that a lot of people did not exactly have the... A lot of people were not really sure how Candle was going to be going into this tournament. Because Candle's another player, like we were talking about before, like Malik, who's not exactly been putting in a crazy amount of time mm -hmm. since the last CEO Taku, really. Kendall did not show up to Combo Breaker this year, correct? It didn't come to Combo Breaker. Didn't come to Combo Breaker. The last time Isn't I saw, let's see, we saw Kendall play in a couple of recent Kendall online might have, events. Yeah, but for the year, it might have for only been like two. Yeah, I was going to say, I've only seen Kendall in one or two events since last CEO Taku, but where he was also top four. That is up here about to at the least get fifth. Yep. Off, so, off of <laughs> such <laughs> little practice, right? Yeah, still playing the Kisame, just like before. That's a fact. All right, let's see it. So we got uh, Kimi, Kimi Maro versus Kasame. Real interesting yeah, match Yeah, this is actually, correct me if I'm wrong, Kimi has a pretty good matchup on Kisame in this in this game as well, right? Not just vanilla. In vanilla, Kimi is the Kisame counterfeit. Really? Yes. See, so you know, my, my vanilla knowledge is super limited. Yeah. I really don't know how it goes in this game. BBX, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. There's, a, there's a funny little thing that goes on in Manila that uh, Lemo told me about right like back when I started playing. This was three years ago, yeah. where they told me, like, if you want to dual main any two characters, you want to do Itachi and Kimimaro, Isame and CS2. Okay, so let's see. Isame beats Itachi. Ki let's see. Ita let's see. Kimi beats Kisame. CS2 beats Kimi. That's how it was. Oh, okay. And they told me, if you want to... If you want to... If you want to play one of those characters, you probably should have at least one of the others in your pocket. 
Makes sense, makes sense. It's kind of like the way you just said it sounded like the triangle effect for like Pokemon, like water beats fire, fire, yeah. <laughs> fire beats grass. That's the best way I could think about it. I'm like, yeah, that does make sense. Okay, interesting. Well, for now, right, Candle has the lead. Ricky looking a little shaky, gets the throw. What's the deal? Oh, it just stuffs him. Yeah. Straight up. Nice. Candle on game point right now. I was going to say, right, like, outside of the obvious uh, sub, right, to get out of combos and whatnot, can you not, like, even, like, a heavy Y cancel character for real? Like, you no. could, but... I mean, he's got double pogo. Exactly. <laughs> double pogo is pretty sick. I always go for double pogo. I've been missing it all day. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a little different from online, you know what I'm saying? Online can be tough versus this. And also, for what it's worth... Oh. Yeah, he drops, drops the, the just, just frame. frame. Yeah, no. If you do that super in the middle of combos in the middle of a juggle, you got what? Is it a? Is it a one? Is it a one frame game? Is I it believe three? it's a one frame. Yeah, it's a one frame window to press that X button and end your combo with a super. Exactly. But that's game one going to candle. I was say, didn't even need it for me. Clean three. And candles looking to take out our combo breaker champ right now. You know, Ricky. Really, Kimimaro and OTK. Those are the two characters. Those are the two characters to watch out for from Ricky. Okay. Ricky has been putting in a lot of time with the uh, OTK2 leading up to CEO Taco, so very interested to see how it does in this match. Yeah, I know he's been he's definitely been going back and forth between them all day, so I know that he's not a uh, he's definitely not cold on him right now. Mm -hmm, yeah, that, or this isn't just like a a pick for for laughs, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, not this, at all. This is a tried and true situation, and Ricky also another so good at the game, another person that you know could have a huge wheelhouse to catch. Oh, gee. <laughs> So yeah, I have confidence in him, in him on pretty much any character. But yeah. these, this one and Kimi in particular, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm All right, starting the light lead. That big guard damage that OTK is known for. Oh, nice. I like the candle kept it calm. Also, I love the candles using my favorite. Uh, the uh, favorite Kisame color. Yeah, I love the, yo, the purple is so hard. I'm like I'm a purple fan. Oh hell yeah. Big perp, come on now. What? Ooh, just slips Th right past him. I think it was because of the drawing from the sword and pogo. 3D gaming. Mm, Slam, yep, not dead. Not, oh, that whoa. is dead. Kisame health, not saving yeah, the day. Kisame has some of the higher health in the game, but it just shows you how much pain that slam puts in. Yeah, sometimes I can really just put you in a checkmate situation. Okay. Break. Oh, Ricky, good sidestep. Ricky up right now. BBX. Nice. Can't that's that. 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 Look at that. Candle takes the first game 3 0. Ricky takes the second game. game. Like, yo, it's just a back and forth with these two. And really, I mean, I, uh, I could really see either anything happening in game three. Mm -hmm. I could see Candle winning this 3 0 just as easily. Oh, a switch? Hold up. Who's Candle switching here? Haku? No. Are we circling right back around? No. Are we OTK me? <laughs> Guy. Guy. Can Candle has been. All right, let's All see. All right, yeah, no, that's that's a character that I, when you're talking about a second ago, different characters Candle can play, that's a character that comes to mind for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Get into it on Final Valley. That's a punish? Oh, no. Ooh, so that's high a, crush on that 8A. I remember the first time I ever found out about that. I don't know if you're familiar with Underscore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah shout out Underscore. I was playing him, and I just tried to 5B him with Lee. just grabbed me out. I'm like, oh, yep. wow, that high crush is like, you got to be so aware of that. So that's something I like to think about in this matchup for sure. OT has a few of those. And just with his hunchback, like, he sometimes <laughs> just miss gets, like, doesn't get hit when you have his oh, back. Oh, that's not dead. Wow, so, so you survived that, but not Kimi? Oh, not Kimi, um, Kisame? Kisame, like, yeah. It's crazy. That J2A clearing it out. I thought he was just gonna go for a chip kill. OTK with claw attacks on all of his normal, on most of his normals. Those moves do chip damage. Other characters in the game have those as well. Some Anko, any move that you see with those claws. Chip damage, scary and stuff. for what it's worth, Guy, no claws, but all of Guy's moves do chip. And, the, and yep. the chip increases, of course, when gate is popped. 
damage all around. Guys, right. you might see another three rounds, three rounds straight from Ricky. Here. No, I'm not hearing it. You're not hearing I'm it. I'm not hearing it. Look, look, look. I'm not yeah, hearing nah, it. Nah, I'm not. Oh, oh no, he he slowed yeah. down on that. I might be hearing oh. it, dude. No, 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 no. We're not hearing it. We're not hearing it. Man. Come on. What's the word? Yeah, hold him down. Oh, oh. Oh, no, that 8A whiffing. No, that's all you ain't having it. Not today. You know, for the strength of that 8A, you better make sure you're landing it. If you're in a tight space, you're getting bopped for it. Hey. Good gate. Good I like it. gate. All right, that hit. Oh, man. Tries. Slam. Oh, no punish on that wake up kick. There's another 8A. Not enough meter to really make anything happen after it, though. Especially not when Candle's got that full bar. The one nice. Hit. Oh, no! Oh. And that's going to be it. GG's. Oh, they don't even know what they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the classic. Uh huh. And Candle drops out at fifth place. Ricky will advance on to lose his semis. That. Great match. I kind of <laughs> want. I wanted the round five. I'm not gonna I lie. I wanted the round five. I wanted. Five, it, I wanted it. But Candle, good stuff. Hey, hey, Candle. You always talk about you get third. This ain't third. I mean, he, <laughs> he's not a fourth. It's he, not third. Is it guaranteed fourth right now? Not third uh, yet. That was that was to play for fifth. That was. For, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was it wasn't. It wasn't third. <laughs> it's fifth. Right. It just wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's upset about those thirds, and I mean, great. It might be a little more upset about this, but I think Candle did well considering all the uh, practice that they don't have. You know what I'm saying? And all the time that they've been gone. So, big shout out to Candle. That Alrighty. was great. I think we're getting into winners finals now. No, we're getting a little ad break before we get into winners finals here. Oh, say that. So look, stay tuned. Don't move anywhere. We'll be right back. You got to see some words from our sponsor real quick. We'll highlight you for the rest of this top eight. And we're back. What's going on, guys? We're here to finish off this top four right now. So I believe we're getting into winners finals, right? Yep. Okay, so that's Ice Kid and Lemo? Looks like Ice Kid and Lemo, yeah. Okay. This is the one. This is the one Yo, that everybody's been looking for. Our two champions from last year, Combo Breaker Champion 2022, CEO Taku Champion 2022. You're absolutely right. Facing off. That was one thing I really liked about this bracket in particular. We have, uh, actually, yeah, all of them are still alive, right? So still those two. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> still alive in bracket. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, like I said, those two are our champions, and then Ricky from Combo Breaker 2023 this year. So yep. all three of our reigning champs are still in, and I can't wait to see how this goes. This is going to be so sick. All right. Yeah. We, got, we got Lemo on the Haku. They were telling me all about how they were. They really have no clue who they were going to pick for a lot of top eight. And so it's really between Conqueror, Haku, and Tamari. And I think that there's a chance if if Lemo takes if Lemo loses a game here, maybe two games, there's a chance that we can see a character. You know, funny enough, uh, Ice Kid and Lemo earlier, I saw them. They were doing kank mirrors and sharing kank tech. Really? And that sounded like hell for the rest of us, yeah. right? <laughs> but I'm also thinking that might be hell for Lemo right now since Ice Kid might implore some of those situations. So we'll see. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. And Ice Kid with the health feed right now looking pretty good. But yeah, what is should be a setup. Nope. Oh, nice. This goes for 2x to guarantee damage. For what it's worth, too, both these characters have considerably low health. So this is, is going to be interesting in that regard. Okay. Ice Kid taking first round, grabbing that kunai. Yeah, both players looking for the opening. That's the funny thing in a matchup like this. Both players really can kind of sit back. I mean, you got Haku that can throw needles from across the stage. You got Conqueror that can just send the puppet from across the stage. Exactly. The, the key difference, though, right, I will say, is that, like, uh, like Haku could throw, like, regular J. That 2X! Oh. That was nutty. That really was sick. Perfectly getting out of that situation. Waited for the sub. Yeah. That was Instead of just going for that guaranteed 5X earlier, waited for the sub. Make sure that Ice Kid wouldn't be able to get full meter back. Speaking of meter, that's what I was going to say is the difference, right? They both can sit back and throw things, but at least if Haku wants to get, like, the good needles, the JA ones, Haku's going to have to burn some uh, chakra for that, whereas Kank doesn't have to do any of that. Yeah. 
uh, Crow just All right, we got some, we got some, we got some balancing devs in the in the audience here. I'm crying. Get hey. on and make Conqueror have to spend some meter just to exist. Hey, that wouldn't. Hey, I, I'm Look, not. Look, he, he got the chakra string. Surely that takes some work. Yo, if y'all gonna do that, give Lee Hadouken. Put me like, <laughs> <laughs> let's just go crazy. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be Lemo taking uh, the third round. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Game point right now. Also, this, this is, is this is best of five. This is best of five. Yep, this, this is winners is, finals. This is winners finals. So our winners semis, losers finals. I said winners semis. Our winners finals, losers semis, losers finals, and grands will all be first to five. Uh, I first believe three. it's just losers finals, not losers semis. Oh, they're not doing semis. Yeah, nope. Oh well, not in this one. Sick. What? Oh, I guess they clashed. Okay, I was like, when yeah, they clash no, off? <laughs> that's just... another 5x moment that's going to end up the game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the first game of this set. Alright, well, while I was saying, second, I was talking about Lemo having some potential counter picks, we know Ice Kid is going to stick with the yeah. The only other character I know that people have been talking about him playing lately is Lee. And I know that that's yeah, been referred yeah, to yeah, as uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the bum. Yo, yo, that Lee don't, that Lee don't exist. Pack that Lee up. <laughs> as, 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 as our resident Lee player, that Lee don't exist. <laughs> Unk, Unk do some jankness with that Lee. <laughs> All right, Ice Kid. No, Lemo putting on the pressure. Oh. Big life lead, big meter lead here. Oh, the whiff grab. Are you dead? No. Nice. Get that stomp. I like it. Spend the meter. All right, both players actually going in this round with, uh, with no meter at their backs. I don't know if you noticed that. That's actually not something you see very often at all. Yeah, typically. Work, because it was only that first hit that killed the uh, thing. It was a yeah. stomp, right? Yeah. Oh. All right, Ice Kid going crazy right now. No bomb, cover that pressure. Nice. Right. Ice Kid being wary of the needles responding with his own kunai. Good day, B. Oh, and Crow! Yeah, just the timing of that pressure was perfect for Conqueror to be able to set up something with that Crow. Yeah, his bestie gonna hold him down every time. Go for me. Stomp. Oh, no! Crow! Still gets the hit stun from the Stomp, but gets hit wow. by Crow and isn't able to put out those needles. That's unfortunate. That would have been really big for Lemo. Just getting slapped in the back here. No OTG. I'm but surprised no OTG. You know, Uncle love OTG. Yeah, that was either take the hit or get guard broken. And if you get guard broken, then you're dead. So you might as well hold on to the meter. Exactly. Ooh, break the air throw from Crow. Every time I forget, Crow has an air throw. Yep. Every single time. It's scary. It cracks me. I mean, it's totally possible that Lemon was the one that initiated that throw and Ice Kid broke it himself. Oh, yeah, that is possible. I'm not lie. Okay, Unk's on a roll right now. Yeah, this is where he wants to be. When Conqueror just starts, oh. Conqueror just starts uh, getting his way, like, it becomes really tough. But Lemo is fighting back through that adversity. Yeah, just Ooh. working their way around all these crow attacks. Yeah, great movement from Lemo. Not a lot. Oh, 2x. That's a lot of damage. And that puts Ice Kid up in the lit in the life lead. Dead. Those yeah. needles are gonna hit this time. No interruption. We're going to round five. <laughs> the steps, the evasion on that. That was not actually. <laughs> right. Yeah, good job maneuvering around that JX. That's such a scary move because that smoke stays out for a while, that hitbox stays out for a while. You do not want to get flipped by that. Oh. Just like that, there's that smoke. Crazy move. Big damage, gets the OTG. Yeah, and that meter gain. What you doing, Onk? What you doing? What you saying? Oh, the throw. throw. You're not dead yet. Good job getting around it. Oh no, no! Too early! Too early! Lemo had the right idea, but had to account for the turnaround. Unfortunate, and Ice Kid will grab game two here.
All right, I don't think we see a counter pick. Even if we do, yeah, there's a. Yeah, yep. no, they just locked it. Yeah, they locked it. They yeah, locked it. For sure, for sure. I was gonna say, even I mean, this being first to three, if Lemma wanted to counter pick and lost that, they could just go back to Haku. This is true. Yeah. Now, that, that would definitely be the time. Yeah. Yeah. Tripping them over my words. All right, we went from a little bit of an awkwardly shaped stage to just one of the biggest stages in the game. Konofa Gates at the day, as opposed to at night. Big fan favorite music there. So see, I love the daytime just because I can like see things better. Yeah, <laughs> it really it, it actually makes a difference. But there's such a banger of a song on night. It's like you know, like and the cherry blossoms. <laughs> yeah, and the cherry blossoms are always like just great to look at in the background. I, I think he wanted two sure. X. Yeah. Probably, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or it could have been like trying to JX as soon as possible. Oh yeah, I, actually I think that's what it was because that happens to me with Tamari as well. Oh! <laughs> Good stuff from Lemo, keeping it, keeping the composure together. Honestly. Yeah, nah, talk about it. Good stuff from Lemo. Okay, Crow doing Crow things. Getting around there. Don't want to get hit by that crow. I love how Lemo just like is very conscious of like, all right, I'm not hanging out by the wall with you because then that just puts me in a world of uh, small bomb shenanigans. I'm not trying to deal with it. Very cognizant of that. Like every time Lemo just, uh, does their best to get away. Yeah, I mean Lemo has plenty of experience versus this character in both this game and in Vanilla. Definitely a lot more plenty, in Vanilla. Plenty of experience against this character and playing as playing the character. Playing as this character too, works, right? Yeah. And that, you know, that always opens up a whole new way of how you view fighting the character once you actually play it. Nice. Even situation. Oh, got the air. thrown by the crow like we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Bad stuff. Ooh, miss on that J accident throws an 8A. I'm surprised. That that it happens to everybody. I saw it happen to Lily many a time today. Really? Yep. Yeah. Happens to everybody. Yeah, there's that distance keeping like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And it's tough because like Conqueror can just send Crow over to like, you know, close that gap if necessary. Haku doesn't really have the same uh luxury. Doesn't have a teleport or anything like Well actually you have two X. But then you gotta spend meter for it. So you know that's a decision. And I believe that's the first time we've seen Ice Kid this up in, the lead. in this set, yeah. Yep, yep. Nice kid's first lead, looking pretty solid. Up just around right now, but it could turn into a game very quickly if Lomo's not careful. No sub on that. Definitely push it, fishing for it, that's for sure. Yeah, trying to get some of these needle loops started, but you know, Lemo in a lot of situations in Super, I feel like they are not the needle looper of this game. Yeah. It's like how uh, we talked about this, right? With like all the different Haku players we have currently, they all go for very different things. And Lemo is not necessarily the needle looper by any means. Now, granted, Lemo can do it without a doubt, but yeah, yeah. as far as how they decide to in, go about the match, in terms of play style, yeah, they're not just fishing for needle loop every chance they get. Really? No, oh. there's another one of those missed stomps. Oh yep. my needles God. are gonna do it. Wow, I'm surprised uh, they got all that chakra back to do 2x yeah. again. <laughs> that was nutty. <laughs> Evening it up once more. And then six A's. All right, big lead here. That yeah, one big Ice, stray hit. Ice Kid is doing that roll. Like, oh, yeah, got Yeah, there's that smoke bomb. Dang oh not. no! Lemo got the throw, but see, that's the one thing that puppet characters, not the one, but one of the few things that are advantage for puppet characters, they have someone available to break throws for them. So Konkuro, Itachi, Tsuyuya with her Doki Demon. Hell, even Shino with the bugs can grab you, can break There's a the throw. counter pick. Oh, Yo, it's Amari. There's a Tamari counter pick. Oh, the Tamari, It's happening okay. now? All right. We got the Sand siblings on screen. Hey, let's see it. I want to see how uh, Ice Kid does respond to this. Because Ice Kid does play a little Tamari themselves, but I don't know exactly. I wouldn't know if I'd say they're as proficient as Lemo. 
with uh, Tamari, so very interested to see how this one goes. Oh, right now it's looking like a lead for Ice Kid, that's for sure. But you know, me and you both play this character, we know how this shit can yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> we know this character can definitely uh, make a comeback if necessary. He's got to place your cards right. But I mean, I don't know, were you, if you were watching uh, Paradise versus Lemo earlier, Lemo does not go for, like we, were, we talk about, we know what we're doing, JX. Lemo does not go for JX in every yeah. situation for sure, where we would think of Norma be advantageous. This is true. Lemo got a whole different way that they uh, see this character and uh, how they layer on their offense with the character. And that's what's cool about having other people that play your character, because you just get different perspectives. And yeah. life is all about perspective in general, right? Like, <laughs> that's how we can all understand each other. GNT is life. Exactly. <laughs> Escon is life, that's for sure. Oh! oh. Uh, JX, really interesting choice. No! Oh, no Looking for a JB. Happened. Definitely looking, looking for, for JB. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like I was telling you earlier, they go for JB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 you were, you did say that. And that's why I told you, I was like, yo, that's why I slide. <laughs> running, running A, close it, please. Okay. Ooh. Oh, but Crow getting in the way, not Ooh. letting Lemo follow up with the 5A OTG. Man, I hate that puppet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. L puppet. <laughs> L puppet. <laughs> oh, my God. Got out of the way, sick. Covering him every time, like yo, you couldn't even get the full. Oh, nice, nice two A. No, oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, there it was. Yes, two A. Nice. And sends up with a jab string. Lemo does not go for wind chip kills. That's one thing I've noticed. Oh yeah, that, that Lemo yeah. will not try to end the game with I'd a chip kill from wind. Shoot, I'll be going. For it. I go for it. I mean, it's a good option. That's exactly. a multi-hitting move. Does a good bit of chip damage. And for what it's worth, I feel like people always never expect you to actually throw the wind move because they can be outside of like JA, right? Could be a little laggy. You can definitely punish them if you're ready. Yeah. So it's great to have them and throw them out when uh when people aren't expecting. One thing I love, 8A, high crusher. Like a lot of people get mixed up in that. Yeah, that's a funny move. It's got kind of a funny hitbox though, so you definitely gotta be careful. Exactly. Man, so. Yep. RK and J from Lemo. Interesting choice here. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, they didn't connect 3D gaming. Well, there's some win. Right. Interesting. There's a win. Prize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I do want to see this push to game five. So slightly rooting for Lemo right now, for sure. Yeah, I think it, I think it, I think we might see one here. This has been a six set, no matter what, though. Like. I think this is definitely the set everybody wanted to see coming into coming into a tournament where both of them are in attendance. Oh, oh, good jump! Yeah, just get out of there. Don't even take the risk. These JB oh. loops. Oh, nice. going into just a 5x. Big damage. Big damage for Conqueror specifically. Lower health character. Tamari's 5x, not the highest damage doing 5x in the game, that's for sure. Oh, we didn't get hit it by that! It. Nice. Not yet, not yet. Not seeing much of that flight from Lemo, if you notice. Yeah, yeah, no uh, uh, J, uh, no JTP. Yeah. See, this all all stuff that we talk about, like, uh, make, oh, wow. <laughs> Cyber, Cyber screaming <laughs> in the background. Yep, that's a oh, oh, no. no, just gets out the, of the way. The front jump. Actually, it's probably Meow Mix. Meow Mix the and Cyber are the screamers. Yeah, our, cla our Floridians. It, yep. <laughs> nice. We're going, going to, to game, game five. five. Let's do it. Yes. This has been great. This has been great. This has been so much fun. And Lemo is locked in at that Tamari. Got to stay there. Also locked in on the text when we got to gotta hit people back <laughs> real quick. You know what I mean? Like Quick tweet. I'm in game five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't mad at it. It's like how, uh, you know, Ice Kid, when we do our online tournaments, he's always popping in the chat mid-set yeah. to tell people, oh, I'm a golden god. We got, we got, <laughs> Skid will pop, or we got like, Ice Kid will pop in mid-set. We got Skid will go in between rounds. Yeah, to we'll come, something in chat. Yeah, come talk crazy to their phone. <laughs> and you know what? I ain't mad at it. Yeah, I mean, if you can do it and keep your composure, then. Exactly. Both those players have shown they can do it. Nice. Yeah, that's full damage yep. and full meter gain. That's almost half your life already gone and all your meter already back. Oh, nice. oh missing I, that JB. Yeah, I see I see the vision. Yeah, no, I go for that all the time. Honestly, I if I can land just a basic JB, doesn't even have to hit the ground. Just get the damage. Yeah, just get it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the big damage. 
Misses that, but the gross smoke bomb still able to come out. Nice. Yes, oh, wait. No, Not open, it. though. Oh, whoa. Went for a 6A? I ain't mad at that. I'm trying to incorporate 6A in my play a lot really? more, too. Yeah. I feel like no, it's, it's one of those things we're talking about, right? You don't use it. So uh, people I, yeah. don't expect it. And I'm a big advocate of you should use everything in your character's kit. Like, you know, like I know there's yeah. some people who are like, yo, this move is dirt and you should never touch it. Like, no, there is a situation for every move. It's just on you as the player to find it. I wholeheartedly, I wholeheartedly believe that. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, as someone who has a history in 3D fighters, 3D fighters tend to have a ton of strengths, ton of moves, and a lot of them can seem, you know, bad. But exactly. at the end of the day, there's going to be some niche situation that that move will pay off dividends for you. Good these air, throw. air throws from Ice Kid. He All is right. on set point right yeah, now. Yeah, Ice Kid looking to step out of heaven and go to grand finals real quick. Let's see it. Take care of the limo. All of Ice Kid's meter is gone. Did you that JB going under the yeah. NBA kunai? <laughs> yeah, that was a shenanigan. Oh no, running A, hitting Lemo's sub, instantly getting them out of a good situation. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, this is looking to be looking Ice Kid's game to lose. Yeah, it's looking very oh. grim for Lemo right now. I just heard the highest pitched scream I've heard in a and, long and we time. Know exactly who it was. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's B, dead, and that's Ice dead. Kid advances on. Bukok popping yeah, Bukok off for popping. Ice Kid. I mean, yo, remember, that's, wow. o, that's OG and T, feel me? Uh, like, Uncle O-Head, feel me? Unc uh, O-Head, Bukok, uh, Hebrew. Shout out to all of our older community still coming out and putting in pain, feel me? That's yeah. what it's about. Like, stop playing with them, feel me? They say an old dog can't learn new tricks, but Ice Kid is showing us different every time when he comes up here. And look, there's my boy right there. Come on now. <laughs> Stop playing. You'll see him. you see it. When we yeah. Well, we're seeing him right now coming up to fight uh, Ricky and Loser Semi. Yeah. So Ice Kid is going to be sitting for a bit in grand finals. Going to get a little time to chill. And how do you feel about that? Like, would you? Put, are you the person that prefers to be on the winner's side or loser side? Because, like, you know, there's always, like, the the person on the winner's side has, like, a lot of downtime to get cold. And then the person on the losers, granted, they're heating up and they still have a lot of match to play. But you're also burning your mental in that regard because you got to keep playing all these good people, you know? So it can be tough. I'm trying to be on the winner's side. I'm serious. I'm serious. Yo, it all depends. You know what I mean? I mean, you can still stay warmed up while waiting for your matches. You can go. We have friendly setups right over there. You can, and you can stay set up, stay, uh, stay warmed up in that regard. You're not wrong about that. I don't know. I think being a winner is. Yo, some cool. people, some people, no, for sure. Being a winner is always cool. But some people thrive off of that, like, Keep like going, keep going, keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You know, all types of different play styles, mentalities. So it's all worth considering. You know, personally, of course, I'd love to be on winner's side. Yeah. <laughs> like, without a doubt. But all right, we're getting into this next. Wait, hold on. Wait, are we? Is this a button check? <laughs> Sound like a button check. Might be a button check. Maybe a might be a sound check as well, because I think Ice Kid might have accidentally pulled a plug on a headphone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're chilling. All right, let's get into it. All right, the guy versus Kimi. I don't think there's uh, anything too unexpected here, honestly. So, you know, funny enough, uh, I forget who I was talking to about this other day, but apparently Ricky does not really like the guy, not the guy, but the Lee matchup yeah. for Kimi. So I'm wondering if that transfers, like how much of that transfers over for a guy. If anything, I think it might be even a little scarier with the dip, you know? Yeah, I'm really not sure. I gotta ask him about that, but I guess we can see through the play as well. Let's see what's going on here. We got Kimi coming out. We got Guy coming out. You already know, like I said, I'm biased. I need New York to win this. Put me like 1,000%. Yeah, there's a come out and get that JB soft knockdown. Nice. Almost a perfect Almost shot. Almost a perfect shot. Yeah, a little shot. A little shot. Okay. Oh. Good 4B high crush. So. And you see the respect already, just with the patience that's being shown on both ends. Like, yeah. uh, nobody wants to try and commit too crazy just yet. Because if you make a mistake, these characters are both a kill you dead mm -hmm. type of both character. These characters, both these players. Both Only these like, players are a kill you dead kind of player. You dead. mess up. Wait. Not yet. That could be uh no. Break, see? And that's why you mash when you're getting hit. 
Because you never know when they might throw out an air grab, unless that character just doesn't have an air grab. But regardless. I know I'm sitting there pianoing. If I'm in a combo, I'm pianoing. Yeah, just pianoing like the whole time. Yeah. It's super worth it. All right. Gate reversal. No reversal. But of course, I, I, I don't remember if it was you or just some other people I was talking to recently where I was thinking about how crazy gates are, because that's a reversal that's also an install. Yes, a reversal that's also an install and is uh, it really, it's truly like, invulnerable, because you know, all the other ones, like you get snuffed out by lows, yeah. like that's not the case with gates. Like I know, my, like to our audience at home, we might not be too familiar with the game. That might not sound amazingly crazy, this is a game without very many reversals and without too many installs. Exactly. So a character so, having both of those in yeah. one package is nuts. So the reversal characters was like Zob, Iruka, and Anko, and then and Choji. And Choji. And then the install characters outside of Lee and Guy would be um, uh, Sasuke uh, and Kakashi. And I guess technically Tsunade. Does she have an install technically? I mean her heal super. That's technically we an install. That? Okay. I All right, so I'll put it up. All right, so that's three. So yeah, to have both of those things at your disposal, and that's that's a reversal too, because it takes you it takes you off from in front of them. It does, it does. You know, I don't know about that. I don't know if I've ever necessarily seen that move get punched out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it doesn't really happen too often. Oh, look at the There's a launch. Damn it, you're dead. Nice, good stuff. Also, didn't even acknowledge Ricky grabbed the game one. What? Right back to Skeet Scouter pick, right? Told y'all, he loves the stage. Yeah, there's oh. another one of those reversals that just maybe had just the purpose of an install. No, I think he thought Ricky was going to hit a button, but Ricky did not hit a button. No. So, <laughs> got to hold that. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Skeet kind of has to go in, but he kind of can't go in, but he just... No gate. Oh, good. Oh, no. okay. alleviates the pressure. That was oh. almost a guard break. Dead. Wait, no, not yet. No. Oh, good late yeah, sub. Good from late Ricky. sub. Keeping you, keeping yourself from hit by the OTG. Mm -hmm. From the OTG and also taking him out of a chance for a wake up super. So, yes. you know, great decision overall. Definitely good stuff. Nice to high crush on the 4B. Whoa. Yo, yo, the Dominican Y cancel. Stop <laughs> playing. Shout out Victor. Doyo Ninja. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, no, the same situation, honestly. Ski doesn't really have the meter or the health to be able to go in like that compared to Ricky. Exactly. Next hit from Ricky is really good to be the game. There's the good reversal. Air oh. throw clears it out. And gonna even it up. One of five. Not, that was it. That was it. Ricky won 2 0. Oh no, yeah, that was Keith's counter pick. Oh, that was Keith's counter pick. Right. Yeah. Ah, oh, Skeet's gonna drop. That's unfortunate. But yo, fourth, solid. Fourth is great. Yeah, fourth honestly, is great. Oh, that's Skeet leaving with two different medals today. Or what he get? Wait, what did he place in Catherine? Yep, uh, Catherine full body. He got third. He that's said that was his it? first time ever playing in a tournament for the game. Yeah, he, he got third. But he's been talking about and playing Catherine for a grip. But I guess yeah, this was the first time actually entering a bracket for it. So third place is sick. Shout out to Skeet going out, double medaled up. Right? Yeah, yeah, gonna see that picture later on Twitter. When we don't sleep. I know y'all see the ads at the bottom. Hit that follow. Stop playing. Big FGC content and jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I try I mean, my best to be the best haha -ha man. <laughs> <What's what? laughs> All right, then. <laughs> you say, whatever you say, buddy. Oh, I'm not funny? That's hate. That's hate. Y'all <laughs> see it here first. That's hate. We're going. <laughs> All right. So we got Ricky, uh, Ricky going up against Ice Le Kid. Uh, Lemo. Oh, wait. Ice Kid did go to Grand. Right, right, yep. right. All right. So Ricky versus Lemo. All right, sick. Let's see how this is about to go. Yeah, neither. Well, actually, this is a run back, right? <laughs> this is a run back, yeah. This is a run back. All right, so let's see. So let's see if let's see if Ricky has taken any tips from game one to try and switch up his play style. Yeah, uh, players are doing a blind pick. A blind pick? Yeah. That we makes sense. We saw this from Lemo earlier today versus <laughs> Paradise. If anybody's gonna do that, it's gonna be Lemo. That's a fact. Because Lemo, I, it's like, I don't remember if you said it on comms or right before comms, Lemo can play. I would trust Lemo on yep. literally any character in this one of the I said one of the characters. One of the uh, players of our scene that, it's a wheelhouse. Anything. Yep. Could play Shino. Could play Iruka. Could play Zob if they want. Like, doesn't matter. Lemo could play pretty much any character. People like that, like uh, Paradise. I Ibu, hear. Ibu could definitely do it. Ricky can do it as well. That's, so, that's yeah. OTK Tamari. 
I don't think there's any. I don't think this is too much of a surprise, honestly. But I, you know, I get the blind pick. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. Because that could have been another Itachi pick right out the gate. That's a fact. And that could have been that could have been Lemo on Haku. Right. So. Air throw. So. That's a guard break right early in the round. Ricky yeah. coming out swinging. Yeah. So I'm. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm very scared for uh, Lemo in this regard because. Well, OTK puts out so much damage. It's like Tamari's health is not great, and her guard isn't great either. So I'm like, sheesh, this might be a, a tough one. Interesting 5x there, leaving Lemma with no meter. Pretty much anything from Ricky will do it for Ricky's here. Ricky's gonna 2x. Ricky's gonna 2x? I know, that's a great oh, I, I no more 2x in no, line. No, 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 no. This might be a little bit closer than it was looking just a second ago, that's for sure. Right. Whiff grab from Lemo. Oh. Whiffed running A. Oh, not enough. <laughs> J2A. Chip out. Nice. Oh, good grab. Good Look at yo, pixel of health. Like, dude, couldn't have been any closer. And that was almost a crazy comeback from Lemo. Yeah, I mean. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, Lemo was definitely getting uh, tossed around in the beginning, but then found their footing, and then just went to work. But unfortunately, Ricky ended up closing it out. So let's see how the second round goes. Yeah, 6A across the stage. Funny move. Even funnier because he's a Yeah, <laughs> like, that what? move really is the funny. He literally throws his, his palm in your face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lemo looking for the JB, but Ricky doing a pretty good job at avoiding this. Yeah, avoiding that Rick back hitbox of JV. Yeah, Ricky is just... That's what I keep thinking is going to happen, is that Ricky's going to end up getting hit by that back hitbox of JV. Yeah, because it always happens when you least expect it, right? Yeah. So, good low. Ooh, whip. Mm -hmm. Let's see, option 2A catches that sub. Nice. JX to beat out the wake up kick. Great decision from Lemo. There's that glide. I think that's the first time we've seen Lemo do glide since yes, yes. kicking Tamari. I've been wondering if they honestly forgot that it was an option given their time with, with Tamari and Vanilla. <laughs> oh, honestly, that might be it now that I think about it. Yeah. I didn't put two, two together. I don't know why Ricky slowed that down. I feel like he just kept pressing that button because Tamari doesn't really have a great option for that strength. That's a 5x. No, it is not, but it's another 2A. 2A. Same great option. Mm. All right. Good guard break. Okay. Sick. Looking like Lemo's gonna even this up in a second. Oh wait, hold on. Wait. Could happen. Could happen. Oh yeah. I might have spoke. No. I spoke a tad bit too soon. Alrighty, who's gonna end up winning this game one? Let's see right now. Good throw. Played it calm, didn't overextend or anything like that. I like that decision from Lemo. Patience. JX yeah, right out the gate. 5A, A, A. Almost that full meter back. Two A. No. Probably trying to get to Ricky's back now. Nice. Yeah, just Jay is gonna do it. That's game one for Lemo. Uh -huh. Sticking with the OTK. Wait, was that game one? That was game one. Remember, that was a blind pick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we that that. Okay, I don't know why I felt like that was game two. All right, where are we going? Ricky is uh, a little uh, conflicted, it looks like. Going one direction, going the opposite direction. About to make a full circle. I mean... Going to hospital. All right. It's, it's a little tough to choose a stage against tomorrow. I mean, you, you think small, but then... Was it this, this was the same pick for Candle's OTK that we saw earlier in this top eight. I believe, actually, yeah, I believe yeah. Because it was, well, actually, no, it was Hebrew, sorry, let me rephrase that. It was Hebrew's pick versus Candle's OTK. And Candle took it. 
Oh. Oh. Getting stuffed up by that wake up kick. Always gotta be aware oh of that. Oh god. These ABAs racking on the damage. Nice shape. That's a punish. That's a punish. That is a dead Tamari. Beautiful. Good stuff. All right, but Ricky's got a long way to go in this Hell's final match. The multi-hit on 6A. That's another that's, thing. That's a multi-hit. Yeah. I'll be forgetting it's multi because the first one launches you so crazy, you know? Yep. Like. Mm. Big slam as per usual. 5X whiffing. This that's could be insane. really big for Lemo. Good 4B from Ricky. Able to attack on the pressure from this point on. Nice. All right, this counter pick looks like it's working out right. quite well in Ricky's favor. Man, the stage giving Ricky that power up real quick. Okay. Nice. <laughs> the A, A, A is coming out for Tamari Fan. Love to hear it. Oh, sniped him out the air. Slam. 5X. Oh, no. Just not going over Wake Up Kick. Because that's one of the funny little strengths about OTK 5X, one of the better 5Xs in the game. Going can go right over Wake Up Kick. It's time for Reckless. See, let me be playing, because, like, you can just do A. He be saying that way. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is that Lemo is the epitome of keeping you on your toes from going for those options you don't expect. That's a fact. They got it. Oh. On the back hit? That's scary. Oh, oh, but it still no. came out. So at the least, was able to get a uh, limo out of that situation, which is solid. Like, wasted a lot of meter. Yeah, I think they really want to stay alive here. Good air Good throw. Good air throw. Looking for a break, but not just yet. Nice. Yeah, another air throw from Ricky. Five nice. Back. Yeah. Talk about it. Now it's one one. Lemo taking the phone before they even know whether or not they're dead. <laughs> we know they're dead. Ain't no, ain't no way. Yeah, sticking with Tamari. No way you're switching now. Stage pick, going to Gates at night. We're going back to Gates as the counter pick from Lemos Tamari. Right, I like this stage. I like it for Tamari. And look, we get to hear the banger, right? <laughs> this game is all bangers. What do you mean? That's a but I think this one, I feel like everyone this is This like, is the one that everybody loves. Yeah, we're all in uh, unison like, yeah, this song is fire. It's the song that some people just know the game for. Yeah. Yo! Ooh, these six Vs. Okay, I know, I know Lemo was Dominican too. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey. Nice. Front sub on that 2A, but still had the vulnerability. All right, Lemo's back up officially. Remember, this is this is Hell's final, Loser's finals. This is first to three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is first to three. Nice. Nice. Get all that meter Damage. back. Good throw. Yeah, just there it is. Ship out. Yes, sir. I love that. Nice little charge on the like tag roll. Like, it's scary. You got, I mean, if you're going to charge it, you got to make sure that you're in the perfect position and not just hit by a wig and kick. But if you can land it, then. That's a fact. But that's what we were talking power. about earlier, right? Like, yo, the knee situations where those things can work, that's yep. one of them for at least for 5A charged. So. Yo. Mm -hmm. I'm with uh, it. Uh, uh, I'm with uh. it too. Now they're one of those air throws. Nice. All right. Lemo up two to one. That's a fact. I think we're probably gonna, yeah, see him to stick it out. Stick it out with OTK. Where are we going? Police department. Not a lot of room for Tamari to work with here, but at the same time, she can still do some stuff on a smaller stage. That's what she Yeah, 1,000%. OTK gets a little, a but little This, cool this, is, this is definitely it. like OTK gets across the stage yeah. with a 6B, almost a six, the whole stage. Yeah, with a 6B can hit you from across stage with 6A. Like, yeah. you know? Got the options here. Mm. Also, I want to say, very poetic that our final three would be our, our three champions. Our three champions, you're absolutely right, mm -hmm. yeah.
This just feels like it shouldn't have happened any other way, low key. So I'm here for this. I can't wait to see who we're gonna crown the victor of CEO Taku 2023. God, that's so awesome! It, it being is. our fourth tournament, and yes, it being, and we, get all and we three. know we know that it's a uh, that it's gonna be somebody's second time. Exactly. Slam! But you know what we know for sure is that Ricky has not won a tournament with both Ice Kid and Lemo in attendance. This is true. Ice Kid has not won a tournament with both Lemo and Ricky in attendance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lemo has not won a tournament with both Ice Kid and Ricky in attendance. Exactly. First time for everything here. So let's see who's going to be our victor. I can't wait. That's actually crazy to think about, too. Just that whole little trifecta there. Exactly. Let us know in the chat, guys. Y'all got your money on. <laughs> No uh, no S coins to bet. Unfortunately, no S coins this week. But you know what I'm saying? Still let us know. Who y'all feeling from just the play y'all seen so far? I know we got a few of our uh, you know, community members probably in the chat. But the other people, maybe you aren't, aren't as familiar with all these guys. Who you think? Who y'all got winning? Let me know. Okay. Oh, Ricky up just a little bit. Yeah. The small stage definitely working out for it. Nice. Yeah, there's another get one those Oh, just going for the JV. Yeah, no, I mean, if you get hit like that and you trade like that, there's not going to be a whole lot of time to really get out that 5A. I'm not, I wouldn't be confident enough to go for it myself. That's fair. I understand. I'm definitely not mad at that decision. Oh. See, look at that leap. Like, that lunge. Like, that's so crazy. Yeah, no, I think if, if OTK definitely has anything really big on Tamari in this matchup, I think it's definitely the guard damage that OTK can really dish out. Because Tamari really does not have great tools to deal with guard does, pressure like that. Doesn't have a great tool to deal with that. Has air grab, so you have to be uh, wary of being in the air around OTK. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, look, at that, look at that. Oh, oh. nah, way too close, way too close. I get what you wanted. You wanted because, you know, OTK yeah. leaps on that starter. But yeah, way too close. The wake up kick's gonna snuff that out every time. Oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah. yeah, but see, there's JB going out over Ricky's uh, wake up kick. Nice. Still a lot of meter getting earned back. Ooh! <laughs> see, and that's another thing, can snipe you out the snipe. air. Cause I'm like, yo, you just gotta be cognizant of it. That wants to find a way to start this. That's a whiff, pr uh, whiff finish. About to say whiff pressure. That's crazy. Nice. This should be the game for Lemo. Yep. The round oh, for Lemo. Round. And now, let's see set point for Lemo. who is leaving hell to go meet Ice Kid and losers. Uh, well, in grand, grand finals, grand finals yeah. potentially. Lemo could potentially take it here. We could see a game five. Just as easily, Ricky with a health and a meter lead right now. This is going to be big damage on its own. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're getting to game and five. And Ricky going on. Oh, wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That, that, that was game four. We're going oh, to game five. That was game four. Okay, we're going Oi. to game five. Oi. I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging. Not too much on me, not too much on me. <laughs> we're going back to gates. All right. Let's finish Ooh, this another off. fist bump coming out. Yeah, yo, you got to <laughs> give it up. I mean, like, it is one of those games where it's like, dang, I've been playing crazy, you've been playing crazy. Like, can't even be mad at how this ends up. Not at all. But let's see who wants it more. I'm auditioning out the damage already. Up against the wall here. This is not the place you want to be using a JX. Neither player with any meter, but Lemo definitely with a massive life lead. And Ricky could close that life lead very fast, like right here, right now could close it. Boom. Yep. Lemo not giving up a roll either or anything. No. You don't no. want to get hit with that OTK super. Oh, oh 6B the snipe. This is the first time Ricky's been up in this set. 6B has been putting in dividends for Ricky. Paying the bills for real. <laughs> no OTG. Ricky with a meter deficit. Getting hit by this JX. Uh uh uh. All your meter back. JB. Both of these players got to be so careful to not just get sniped by little things like that. All those little things add up one by one. Oh, guard looking extremely low. The Lemo ends up getting out of there. Guard is still low, though. It hasn't recovered fully. Ricky's got to find a put in that pressure right now. Mm. Good guard break. Still keeping composure. No. Oh, the crash on the J 
JP, 2A, closing out the round. That back turn, you gotta be so careful of when you choose to sub. I'm hearing, come on, Ricky's from the, from the, from the, from the, from the audience. Uh, the audience, thank you very much. <laughs> the crowd is what I wanted to say. No, I feel y'all good. It's like C-word, C-word, uh, <laughs> from the cheer. <laughs> cheer crowd. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, that's a round. That, no, it's oh, not. Wait, wait, that no. was another messed up JB from Lemo. And that is the only reason I'm going to chastise Lemo for, like, not making the option just, like, that's you know just what I mean? Running. Yeah. yeah just you missed something like that. That could have cost Lemo the round. But it's that we're seeing Lemo taking this round and going on to have a really good start here. Uh, uh, uh. No JX. Wants to hold on to the meter. I get it. You could close this out this round. I don't get why Ricky doesn't why keep applying yeah, I don't know pressure. why Ricky teleported there. That was a really great time to try to find the reversal in momentum. Nice. Oh. Two way. Oh, no. That, no, misses the punish on the JB. Okay, Instant sub. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, uh. slam. We're down the final, five. final round. Round five, game five. Oh game God. five, round five. Let's do it. Everything. This is everything. The Ricky chance coming out from the Ricky chat. Chance. The people champ right now. People are really rolling with Ricky. Baby. Awkward oh, Lemo chance. Oh, Lemo out. chance now. Yeah. All right. Look, the crowd seems that's to be That's a win punish. This. That should that's be dead. it. No, it's. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Good stuff to oh. Lemo. Lemo closing it Keeping out. Keeping it together in that final round. Keeping full composure. Good lord, dude. Yo. Whoa. Edge of my seat. I was about to say Lemo left. I was like, wait, hold, yeah. on, hold on. Hold on. I mean, I would take a second. Yeah, I, I yeah, would yeah. take a. I would walk around the room. To anyone that doesn't do it, maybe if you have the time, like before grands, take like a two, three minute, grab some water. I mean, especially same if, thing if, for a reset too. Yeah, if you're coming off of a a hot set like that, game five, round five, that one wasn't quite last hit, but especially if it's like last hit. You, you take a second. You, you're, Whether you think you do or not, you probably need a mental break. Exactly. Real quick, never hurt. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this now. So we got Ice Kid on winner's side, Lemo on loser's side. So uh, are you uh, are you rolling with the reset? You jacking the reset? What's up? I think I'm, I think so. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, All right. I mean Lemo I'm, coming really hot out of that game. You're not wrong. So let's see. And I definitely think... You know, with their set earlier in winner's finals, it, it only came down to like a few mistakes on uh, Lemo's part, right? Like, mm -hmm. nothing crazy, so. I mean, that was, what was that cross-up? Did you I, see that? I, whoa, whoa. What? Hold on, we might need some official ruling real quick. Whoa, something wrong with the control. Hold on, what's that, bro? Hold on, give us one second, guys. We're Not getting this sure. situated. Who's, wait, what's Where, who, Don't. What? Are what? I don't know if that was for us. Yeah, probably not. I'm say, I hope not. It might have been something else. Hold on. My guy Cyber over there, Ninchi, doing some officiating, seeing what's going on. Shout out, Austy. Stop playing. <laughs> Big Austy. Right. Actually, word. If you've been taking pictures of me all week, I might take a picture of them like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> That's all I need. Yeah, that's all I need. All right. Uh, can we get a... What's the... Can you... What's, what's going on? Give us a word. We Reset, it? play it out. All right. All right. Sick. Sick. Some Sick. kind of controller issues. We're playing it out. All right. No problem. Ultima finals here. That's it. There's, there's the thing. Now, that I was saying earlier, final. it should be final boss because we had the sticking with the theme from last year, and I was saying we should have a final boss and a mid-game boss. Yeah, Ultima. But now we got Ultima finals. I like that. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It's that Ultima weapon. Uh-huh. Uh, Shout uh, out to all my uh. fellow Kingdom Hearts fans out there. That's a Final Fantasy reference. It guy. is. But this is a Final Fantasy VII I, yes, event. Yes, it guy. is, <laughs> but I am more Kingdom Hearts fan. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I won't say that I'm not too, but... Exactly. I, 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 oh. Final Fantasy hard, though. Don't get me wrong. I love 13 and 7. That, all right. Yo. You like the game with the same protagonist in two different games. Anyway, this match. Yo, yo. Right, Ice Kid taking the first <laughs> round of this <laughs> of this <laughs> Ultima <laughs> Finals. I'm going to be saying it the whole time just because yeah, I, I kind of like it. That's a good ring. That's a good ring. <laughs> yeah, 
I know, getting stepped up by that puppet hurts so bad. When you finally get that good hit in, and then puppet just comes and runs up and, and, and punch and socks you in the face. Look, Kingmaker. Yeah, look, and Lemo's actually punching Crow in the face for all the things Crow's trying to do right now. Leaving Ice Kid with no meter. Yeah, no, this is a Tamari versus Conqueror. Ooh, I like that. Caught him running. And I and again, Crow yeah. getting in Lemo's way so that Lemo wasn't able to follow up the way that they wanted to. No, Tamari, Tamari versus Puppet in particular, I gotta say, like, she can, with her win, with JA, with 5A, she gets rid of all those projectiles. Except I noticed earlier, I don't think, I somehow don't think I noticed it before. It's It blows up Smoke Bomb, so the smoke still yeah, comes out. It doesn't, it activates it. it activates it rather than deleting it entirely. So you gotta yeah. definitely be careful that you don't hit it and then just run it, because you could still get hit by that smoke. That makes sense. Block the Smoke Bomb, too. There's stuff on one more. A big life lead on Ice Kid right now. You get clipped enough pu times by that puppet, you could just lose a whole round, just get it, just getting hit little bit by little bit. Those smoke bombs, those kunais, those running A's, they all add up. Nice. Instant stuff from Lemo. Yeah, notice they sub Ooh. very quickly, a lot. And yet here they are now. I mean, I respect it because, like, for what it's worth, you get the chakra back, you don't get your health back. Unless you're Sunak. Yeah. <laughs> or Kabuto. Oh, yeah, Kabuto, too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, with that being the case, right, that's been an ideology, like, uh, someone told me a minute ago. I mean, actually, from uh, actually from playing Storm. Shout out to all my Storm players. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Skip the throw. I thought Crow might get in the way there, but thankfully did not. Oh, with oh, oh. that throw. With throws are really the the unsung villain of oh. GNT, I gotta say. Yeah, 1,000%. Looking to throw in this game can be disastrous compared to so many other games. Yep, it can spell death easily. Nice, good JP. Trying to jump out, trying to jump out. Oh, oh no, gets clipped by oh, the wait. puppet. Oh, wait, didn't die off that? Oh, oh. no, the 8A. Okay. That's that situation. That's the kind of scary crow situation where it's like, you're fighting against two characters. Exactly. You really are getting tag teamed here. You hit one of them, you might just get hit by the other. Yeah, it's so rough. Like, at least with, like, Itachi and the rest of them, right? Like, they are typically standing still while, like, their clones are doing something. Like, yeah. To you, Doki nah. Ice Kid can just run about and do whatever he wants while Crow is actively doing his thing. Yep. I mean, you see these health, like, all the time you'll see Ice Kid hold a smoke bomb. You can just hold that 5A smoke bomb. Yep. Whenever you, and he'll, and the puppet will turn with your opponent. He'll track the opponent. Whenever he wants to send it out, he can just, like, right there. Yep. He can just hold it and let go of it whenever he wants to. And then even when you think you're safe, Crow has your back. <laughs> so. Yeah. See, like, Crow has Conqueror's back, but Crow having your back is a whole different thing. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so I do like to change, uh, the stage swap. Yeah. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, of course, once again, the gates pick the comfort from a big stage, because Tamari definitely, step. definitely highly benefits from those bigger stages. Full room for those GXs. Full room to run away, honestly. I think this is a kid that definitely thrives in a life lead situation. 1,000%. Because I know uh, I was talking with Ricky about this last night. And at its core, at, a, at an optimal level, this is a runaway game. I think this is a highly defensive, life lead, meter lead type lead game. Yeah, I definitely agree. Nice. So you've seen that. Lemo was like, yo, I ain't getting stopped by Crow no more. I'm going to jump over the <laughs> puppet. <laughs> like, I'm jumping over the stupid puppet. It's over for that. Oh. I like I like this decision. I'm not going to lie. Which one? Oh, uh, the, the, the five A's. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Five A's. Chipping down Conqueror, hitting puppet, getting rid of, rid of a little bit of meter. At that kind of range, oh. this kind of stage. All right. Getting to hit Crow kind of just for free there. You try to do anything with Crow when he's getting hit by Jax, and he's just going to get hit right back. And then you might end up leaving yourself vulnerable. Oh. Yeah, 
Taking down a lot of that meter. He can't stop anymore. Yeah, but now we're seeing Ice Kid take advantage of that same kind of strat. I'm just kind of running away, playing a lot more defensively, sending out the puppet. Exactly. Sending out the projectiles. I mean, I, I mean what's stopping him from doing it, right? Got the health lead, chilling. Pro is always going to have his back. Like, look, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Like, yeah, ain't no reason. Clock on 24 at this point, so. Oh, yeah, I mean. Damn near might see a timeout, but I, I think, don't think there we you are, go. No. I was about to say, I think <laughs> one of these little kunai will chip Lemo out eventually. <laughs> All right. Ice Kid looking to take the second game. Ooh, second. jumps oh. right over that 5A and slams Tamari in the head. Jumps over it. Gotta love seeing people get right over those big area covering supers. You can just jump right over so many of them. All right. Good step early to get in position to block. I love that. No JX. Yeah, I think they're definitely being wary. Oh, oh there you yeah. go. Yeah, Lemo said that. Not no, not no more. Pick something else. Do another option, because that's not going to work on me anymore, gang. Come on. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Oh, actually hit Ice Kid that time. That's mm -hmm. full meter, because you're getting the extra meter from hitting Crow, too. For those of you who haven't noticed yet, putting Tamari in the air willingly with a string is a death sentence if she has the meter <laughs> to do that. So you never want to put Tamari in the air for real as the opponent. No, no, you do not. She already wants to be in the air so much. Why are you going It's, put it's in like the air? so many characters, they got that. They got JA air shanks that they can get out of specific strings with. Tamari can just JX, Tamari can just hit you with a super. Exactly. Big, massive damage setup, everything different. Ooh, oh. tries to 2 a and punish Oh, herself. alive by an inch! Staying alive, enough meter to get a JX out if you're able to. And that would close it Ship. out, but you get shipped out instead. Yeah, Lemo, it was the second yeah, Kunai. If Lemo could have positioned himself just slightly yeah. differently to not get hit by that second Lemo one. needed, like, uh, a running side step in there or something type. I I mean, Ice Kid is up. the switch to Gara. Gara. I think Gaara. that I'm not going to lie. I think my, Lemo might be a tiny bit tapped out. Go, hold on, hold this on. Is either, hold on. This is either a Hail Mary or they're tapped out. That's a fact. Let's see. I don't know what. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we're doing this the whole rest of the set, then. Yeah, why not, right? Let's, let's, let's kick it off with a bang. But this is this is a comfort pick for Lemo. I and, mean. And my thing is, right, when, who's the last high level Gara that, that Ice Kid has played? Yeah. Like, if anybody. That's what I'm saying. The only ones that, that come to mind are Semra and like Ko. Shout out to those two. Yeah, I mean it's already working in that round one. Yeah, no, it's paying dividends so far. Let's see how this goes. The Gara is I mean, such a if you if you get Conqueror hit by an 8A or a string into an 8A, then I mean Crow can't do anything in that whole time. In that whole duration. Yeah, actually. That might be. Oh yeah, this is another sand sibling. We're seeing the full sand siblings. Oh grid. yeah! Wow, we see the whole trio. I'm crying. <laughs> the whole family. That's awesome. We got the whole family together for Ultima Finals. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Hey, hey. You got to be so careful your sub timing because you could still just get hit by that 8 8 pillar. Oh, such awkward positioning here at the wall. I'm having trouble keeping trouble. Oh, I like that. Is. I like that. Couldn't punish. Oh. B. All right, 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, wow. I'm still in shock I'm, at yeah, the I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a little trouble that recognizing this is even what's happening right now. If Lemma wins the next three games with this character. Amen. Nice, yeah, but that's a lot of damage. Out. Yeah, I got a sub there. Don't I really have much of a choice? Sweep then go through. Sweep come through. <laughs> we got, I hear A is coming out for just that first one before we even know if it hits. Uh huh. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, that's a run for Lemo. Big right. cheers in the audience. Everybody's yeah. so excited to see this counter. Yo, because we, yo, dare I say we want the reset. I, I want the at, reset. And at, at the very least, we want the game five. I want it. I want, I it, want yeah. it. So. Uh, uh, uh. You see those two, that double dive kick? Oh, oh my god. Nice. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, uh, uh. Sick. 
good oh lord! The crowd is erupting no, right now for Lemo. They really did the 5X on Crow. Yo, look at them, look at them. They're they popping up in the back. Feet. Shout out Potato, shout out Clem, shout out Ruby, shout Big out New Lily. York. Shout out Lily, shout out Wahoo, shout out everyone in the community. We're all here to see this craziness <laughs> happen right now. It's all unfolding right in front of our faces in Ultima Final. But we're going, we're going back to Deep Force Emergence Rooftop. Lemma has lost every game that Ice Kid has taken to them to the stage with. Oh yeah, you are right about that. So yeah, I wonder, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, if this is the counter pick of all counter picks, then I mean, who knows what could happen here. We shall see. Also real quick, just want to point it out because I love it. Uh, I love how Crow is uh, supposed to be Sasori. Sasori and, theme, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Sasori theme. So good. Yeah, it's so fire. Like, even, you know what I even noticed? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> Yo, fire. Was you know someone pointed out to me today? I even PP got the shoes too. What? He got the kicks. He does have the kicks. He got right? the kicks, Leo. <laughs> Stop playing. Hey. 5X. That's big damage. Conquer a lower mm -hmm. health character. This is a high damage super. Sand burial. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Like, what, 80% of 80 your health on? Yeah. Like. yeah, evades that move. Evades Crazy that 2X. Enough. Oh, Two way? Oh, so I thought that might hit on back hit. I thought hit. that was going to hit on back hit, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, just a 5B. This right. this counter pick is working out in spades for Lemo. What's up? I think we might be having a I reset. I think we might be having a reset. <laughs> Sooner than later at, <laughs> at this point. Unk got to get it in gear. I don't really, know what's like, up. I'm not going to lie. Like you talking about when was the last time Ice Kid fought? A Gara that knew what they were doing like that. Yeah. We're seeing them get. We're seeing them get hit by like, I'm not gonna like kind of basic Gara can yes, yes. So you know, you know what this is remnants of reminiscent of when uh, we seen him versus Hebrew for yeah. one of those bi-weeklies. Not wrong. He said, "Yo, I don't know how to fight Eno, right?" But for what it's worth, they played today in bracket and Ice Kid won. So clearly, it was close. Yeah, got that the, was a really close one too. Yeah. So clearly, Ice Kid got the tip they needed. I think we might be seeing the same shades of this. Ice Kid might need to get some tips on how to fight Gara. I mean, from who? If Lemo's not going to share the tech? I mean, Lemo shared the Conqueror tech with him earlier, so Lemo I'm sure after this, you're like, I'm sure after this, they'll have There's like another JV. I love that JV. That's got to be one of the saucier dive picks in the game. Yeah, yeah, you know for a fact, right? He Lemo, that man keeps his arms crossed. Lemo's not a gatekeeper of uh, information for this game by any means. Nah. <laughs> If you want to yeah. learn some stuff, Lemo's definitely there to assist you and help you out in that regard. You got to go to Lemo yourself. You got to go to the wise old sage on the mountain. Exactly. Go to Yoda. <laughs> Lemo really just Yoda of GNT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not wrong. Yeah, no can J in there. Oh! Two X? That's going to hit. What's the option here? Oh, Chakra's low. Yeah, what? Crisis meter game. Oh. Hold on. We're getting hit by the smoke oh. bomb. Oh. Yes, hit in the back by Crow. No, okay. this could be this could be the tournament for Ice Kid yes. too. Ice Kid looking they, to reclaim his CEO Taku championship right now, but Lemo has something to say about it. So let's see. Another two X. That's gonna hit. That's not crazy damage, yeah, not but you're getting out of a bad damage. situation. Yeah, it's a JX oh, see, from Ice Kid. About, you wanna talk about huge damage? God, yeah. Golly. <laughs> Oh, oh, still okay. gets picked up yeah. by that 8A. Yeah, good trade. <laughs> yeah, oh. that should be. Yeah, should be it. Oh, uh, yeah. Game five. Game five. Let's see it. Stop playing. Wow, wow, wow. Come on now. Get some good shots of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. I can't oh. wait to see these folks. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? What's going wait, on? Oh, oh. We got a Naruto sword. Naruto? What's going on? We got cannon? Naruto with the Obito Whoa. skin, too. On, I love this we're one. On shrine? Mm -hmm. On shrine. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, they're, yeah, they're exactly. going to play it out. It's yeah. a gentleman. That's yeah, a gentleman. Yeah, we'll consider it a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. All right. Already in the ZTK, though. Yeah. Op that ZTK might that might have been the goal here. Oh, another character we forgot. Install. Another character with yeah. an install, you're and right, actually, that's and, a different and, character. And unique in the fact that they can take off their install. Well, I guess K K Kakashi and Sasuke can do it too. Yes. I'm just, as a lead player, I don't got that option. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you say you're not privileged like those characters, huh? Oh you you going to oh say that? God. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I can't take it off. Like, yo. Mm. 5A, all right, that's a good 5A. Yeah, I just get stuffed out that running B on Naruto. Pretty good move, honestly. I was say, yeah, no, that move is good. Compared to a lot of different running games oh, in this dead. game, you're dead. You should be dead from this unless you drop it. 
but we don't drop those. Mm -hmm. And this could be Ice Kids counter pick on oh, Naruto. Wow, yeah. so, so win. This could be the win in character. Ice Bros or Ice Kids, Naruto. That's the honestly like. Also, for what it's worth, can it match up? Can it match up? <laughs> oh, oh, the front sub, but unfortunately couldn't follow up too crazy. On, wait, was that front sub? I don't even know, but it still hit him. Yeah, that yeah. was a crazy hitbox. That's all I know. Yeah. Running across the stage oh, from the crab. Good movement here from. He blocked I that. I don't know if I did. Yeah. Stay patient. You gotta stay patient. This could be your nice. final game. Wake up kick. 2X! Yeah, he keeps catching Unk mashing on that. Like, you gotta chill. Hard That's break. Hard break. That's hard. Oh, uh, not dead. That's not dead. That is not, not dead. But it could be. 2X. Yeah, you gotta 2X. Yo, crying. Getting off not one, but two of those in a set. No! Oh, and that's it! That's it. Oh, and, he throws the controller. And Ice Kid is your 2023 CEO Yo, Taku, Taku champion. champion. Two Wait, in a row. Two in a row. Yo, stop playing. Yo, Unk, three peat or nah? I don't Yo. know. Yo, Ice Kid, three peat or nah? Three peat next year, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I mean, it could happen if he's here next year. It and could. Florida I mean, native, it I, could. I was about to say, yeah, I'm sure he's going to pop out, but worry about next year and next year. Right now, that was sick. That was Amazing top eight. Oh, my God. It was so fun. The switch to Gara into yeah. the almost reverse 3-0. Yeah, nah. And then and then for all the answers to be Naruto, Naruto. out of Ice Kid. I mean, who, really, ZTK, he didn't, yeah. I didn't see To be any. honest, yeah, he didn't play much I was base gonna Naruto. Say, I didn't even see a single base Naruto. But it's so crazy to even see because typically Ice Kid is a, you think of him as a he's solo just main. A specialist, yep. Yeah, he's a specialist in Kank. So, like, to even see the switch off from him yeah. in bracket is rare. I mean, I, I'm honestly. I'm, I was pretty surprised that he did, honestly, given just how he did in that game four. Yeah. Because he was definitely bringing it back in game four. Like yeah, it was he, doable. I, it was, it doable was definitely sure. doable for him. So I'm a little bit surprised he did. I don't I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm I generally not sure what he was thinking because, like, that was a good – that ended up being a great choice in the end, but I don't know if maybe he was wanting it for the reset. I'm thinking it's, maybe. You never know. And also, I'm never mad at it because being on winner's side, you got room to play with, right? Yeah, yeah. Granted, you shouldn't – Said it a million times with these <laughs> players, these of this caliber and this level of skill in this game. Though, if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. Mm -hmm. So, thankfully, it didn't end up coming back to bite him in the butt. So, good stuff to Unk. That was sick. Good stuff to Lemo. Really, really, to say. really, really. Yeah. Bringing, giving their all. Bringing a good show. Yeah, nah, I enjoyed I so, so many all of, of our top eight. Yeah, all of our it top was eight. Sick. Really Do you have a favorite game match game. or no? Do I have a favorite match? That switch to Gara really is like taking me out. Yeah. Almost reverse 3-0ing the, the with switch, the Gara. The switch to Gara, the crowd erupting the with crowd, all the yeah. energy. You know what I'm saying? It just it just gave the atmosphere and the vibe of what and was the, going on just intense. Like. That and the Malix win over Paradise. Because <laughs> we are not gonna hear the end of that one. Oh my God! Yeah, I can't believe that happened. Still, that was really insane. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a good top eight. It was. This is good. a really good top eight. Dare I say a good tournament. You know, shout out to CEO Taku. Shout out to TNS. Shout out to Tong and Jabali for giving us the shot for a community patch to be a main stage game. We appreciate it wholeheartedly, and we can't thank them enough for that. One yeah. thousand percent. Very grateful to everybody who's given us a chance and let us show that we like we take our game seriously. We got exactly. people interested. We have the potential to grow as a community. We're exactly. going strong right now. Hey, I say this to y'all, right? A great way I like to pitch this game. If you like Naruto, you like FGC stuff, this is something that you at least should try and be interested in. Yeah, if you like 3D fighters, this is not a hard game to get. It's, it's at all. I think this is a very low floor, very high mm -hmm. ceiling game. Exactly, because even if you don't know about competitiveness or anything like that in the game, you and your friends can just pop this game in and just mash and have a grand old time. Yeah. But you know. when you do get to the competitive level that like me and Kateo oversee and are a part of, right, and participate in, this game has a lot of cool in-depth mechanics, a lot of cool uh, just gameplay, and just situations that make it so cool, so yeah, awesome. It's really unique. Yes. I mean, I feel like I can't think of too many games that I see really as centered around like 
I, I, I like to think the metagame of this game of this game is really meter. Meter management, yeah. everything related to meter. Meter management right? is key. Like whenever I talk to people for the first time and I tell them that, that's always a shocker <laughs> to some people. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> not, not quite. Yeah, so no, no, where no. is Hama? Where is Hama? <laughs> where is well, we see. need to get Hama to Rody <laughs> out from Egypt to one of these in person tournaments. That's the that's the hidden boss killer mm -hmm. of Escon, honestly. See, that's another thing too, because we got we got players all around the world. We do, but we predominantly, the world. predominantly is NA. So outside of just wanting to see more players in general, we want to see more international players too. If you're watching us from Europe, Asia, wherever, you know what I'm saying, yeah. wherever you are in the world. Pick you know, up we, the game. You know, we recently we recently just had Worm that was doing uh, FICA. That's a fact. We had uh, the Ultimate Burst that was Glopkis tournament that ran recently. That's a fact. A lot of love for the EU. Shout out Big Worm, my dog. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Come on now. Also, shout out to everybody back at home. Shout out to Towns for me. Big Brooklyn, big New York energy. You already know the vibes for me. Come on now. <laughs> this is kind of a New York game, isn't it? It's, a, it's Florida and it's New York. Yeah, those are our uh, where most of our. Uh, are we doing the Florida New York crew battle? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Might get that recorded real quick. I, say, we, I, I think mean? we got enough people here to do it. We do. We definitely do. And Florida free. So Florida free? Florida free in any Ooh, game. I don't care what game. I don't game. know. Who yo, just won the tournament? Y'all know. Yo, I was just talking about the, huh? Who just oh. won the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> yo, if I was up there. <laughs> I mean, you get, we get a one player ban. It's like we ban Ski, we ban, we ban Ice Kid. I'm else crying. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> we, doing <laughs> we doing it like League? Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yo, funny. character bans is nuts. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we got our uh, top, top eight, eight here to four A award ceremony. It's looking like mm -hmm. getting think. everybody uh, lined up right now. Yeah, I think we got everyone on stage just about. We'll yeah, they're over here the off second. to the off to the side next to the stage. Whenever we uh, get to that. All right, we'll get there in a second. But either way, like I said, guys. Pick up the game, tap in with us, join yeah, the Discord. We got a, we've got a special, do we have a special Discord thing? Is it Clash of Ninja 4? Is it Super Clash of Ninja 4? Yes, yes. Discord.gg slash Super Clash of Ninja 4. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to join find us. us. And if not, right, if you aren't able to find through the link, you got me right there, you got my at, you got Kateo right there, you got their at, like, Hit one of us up and we'll guide you wherever you need I mean, to hopefully be. Hopefully we can get the Discord link in the maybe in the description of the video, maybe? Yeah, yeah, possibly. And granted, we can't see the chat right now, but I'm sure there are some people in the chat, like how last time they were throwing the Discord link, such and such. They were holding it down. So shout out to all the homies in the chat, whoever is there. Obviously, like I'm saying, I can't see it right now. But huh? I think they're talking through. Oh, okay, talking. oh yeah, important important note I want to put out. We just got a Mizumi page for Super Clash Ninja 4. A very oh, yeah. important thing we didn't mention yet. Exactly. We got pages up for every character. It's definitely not complete yet. Some pages are definitely a lot more complete than others. It's completely community-led. I was about to say, it's a community patch. Everything, everything that's happening is yes, on the ground floor. It's yep. us. We are doing it. So, you know. All right. Give it up for your top A for Super Naruto Clash Ninja 4. In seventh place, Paradise. Paradise in yeah. seven. Also in seventh place. Hebrew Hammer Hebrew. got Cyber handing out the medals. I love to see it. Facts. We love our TOs. 1,000 percent. Big shout out to Cyber. Oh, my bad. Man. Hebrew Hammer. My bad. Malix with a crazy. Honestly, can in they even hear us? Place, Malix. Probably chat can. This is in person. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Also Seize in fifth up so we freeze candle. up. <laughs> candle. In fourth in place, fourth, we got Big Ski, New York, Big Big New York. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. In third place, Ricky in that double, medal. The double medal. Ricky in third. Uh -huh. In second Most place, Lemo. Lemo. Uh, previous and or previous your breaker champ. champion, Ice Kid. Big Ice Kid. Of the year. Look at the trophy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got a trophy. Two time champion, indeed. <laughs> Yo, make some noise for Ice Kid. Stop playing. Yeah! <laughs> to nothing. Right? Silence. Hey, crickets. Hey. Yo. Yo, Cyber. Yo, Cyber. <laughs> <laughs> yo, see them getting sturdy up there. <laughs> All right. That was a great tournament. Mm -hmm. But it's time for us to go, Lee. That's a fact. That's it was it a for, great time to tell. Yeah, that's it the for the thing. night. Mm -hmm. That's it for the night for Siyotaku for that's this stream. We are going to go kick. Well, actually, is it the night? Is this for the stream in particular? This is, dude, it's like 10 o'clock. It's it 10 o'clock. Nah, know. it's after but hours now, buddy. Either way, 
We're getting out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this top eight as much as I did. Yeah, thank like you we, so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of our history. This is all stuff that we enjoy, and we do all this off the strength, off the muscle, by ourselves. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everyone that's part of the community. Shout out to everyone that participated, that played today. Thank you all for coming out. It was a blast, and I hope to see all, you all again next year, or at any other events that we do plan on hosting. But yes, follow us on Twitter. We'll tap you in, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.